The following is a presentation of the Radio Misfits Podcast Network. We are back. My next guest tonight, please welcome a very funny guy, Artie Lang. We are joined right now by a hilarious comedian. His latest project, the Artie Quitter Podcast. Please give a warm welcome to a good friend of the show. Here's Artie Lang, ladies and gentlemen. It always makes me laugh when I see Artie Lang on stage. <laughs> Knowing I'm going to outlive him. <laughs> a Jack Daniels swilling pizza eating, dog hating, whore using, cocaine abusing, hairy back, big belly blowhard from New Jersey. The fat little bastard known as Artie Lang. Welcome to the Artie Quitter, Artie Lang Uncensored Podcast. Mike Pachetti and Stacey Pressman taking their birthright spots mm-hmm. uh, on, uh, <laughs> on, the, on the chair, on Murderer's Row here at the table. Pachetti and Pressman, Gino Biscotti, of course. Hey, boo. <laughs> Chris Cotton. In the kitchen. And, uh, yeah, and a little later on, Aaliyah Janine, who is a... Uh, Adult entertainment star who is also a stand-up comic. So awesome. she's very unique. She's been doing stand-up uh, since 2010. And been we'll talk to into her. the mic a long time. Well, we'll talk to her later. Uh, Aaliyah Janine. Aaliyah, thanks for being here. Uh, she's uh, She looks cool, and she is cool. So we'll talk about that later. Um, also an exotic dancer. Uh, to get going, we have a very special treat in the beginning of the show. You know, a lot of people who used to hear me on the Stern Show, of course, Dan Filato's here too, by the way, in his Fox Sports Windbreaker. <laughs> what are you doing over here, Filato? You look creepy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, a lot of people listen to me on the Stern Show. One of their favorite things that we did over there was when we put a hidden microphone in Sal and Richard's office and I came out to George Takai. I, uh, I told him I was really homosexual and George <laughs> fell for it hook, line, and sinker and it just like this is going to do with the target of this creepy joke it just proved how nice of a person George Takai was George was so supportive so sweet and we let him uh, wrestle with this information overnight and the next day we played it and, and let the cat out of the bag that I was just kidding but it was really compelling <laughs> radio uh, and uh, George couldn't have been cooler so as you know, we're going up to the Montreal Comedy Festival, and Mike Pachetti uh, is going to be the star of the show. Uh, they love him up there. And um, Mike is about as good as a friend gets. He really is. Uh, and this is going to prove that. I thought it would be funny if we put a hidden microphone in uh, my second bedroom, which is now Dan's office. And before the show today, I told Mike that he was going to have to swallow two balloons of heroin for me <laughs> and uh, shit them out. When we got to Montreal and uh, in his hotel room, boil them in water and then give them to me or I'd have a seizure. And I, <laughs> or I'd have a seizure. And I told him my doctor told me this and uh, we had to hit him, Mike. And right after we did it, Mike was so cool and he was trembling. So as soon as this is about a 14 minute tape, but right after we did it, I had to, I had to say, Mike, it's a joke. I don't want to. I couldn't have him stirring with this information any longer because he's such a sweetheart and he was wrestling with it. But he 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 fell for it not because he's stupid because he's a sweetheart of a person. And we were discussing what well, to make him shit quicker. He asked for certain foods. <laughs> and uh, Mike, what what are your thoughts on this, Mike? First of all, thank you for the greatest bit ever. But thank you for being a friend. What what are your initial thoughts before we play the tape to start out? And make the hundredth episode very, very special. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna have a stroke because well, some of the stuff you tell me in there. Because that would have been a bad. He's part still of going it. to, but not because <laughs> of that. Well, well, yeah. You were. What were you thinking? No, I was. Did was, you have anger towards me for putting you in this position? No, I just. I just didn't want to see you fell up. I would rather fell up than have you fell up. Well, listen. <laughs> what I, I did what, what I didn't get into. I believe the penalty is thirty-five years in Canadian jail. Well, for I would have out heroin. <laughs> Well, no, the thing is, Art, that I'm a very loyal friend to family and friends. Oh, my friend. God. Absolutely. With the exception of you using Twitter too much, I think the mafia would love you. No, I would have been a great man, but I wouldn't kill, I'd be a bookie. I wouldn't kill anybody, I don't think. I don't. You'd be, because of your incredible math skills, you'd no, be a Gino. bookie? <laughs> I think you're up $5 or you're down $4 million. 
<laughs> well, listen, I forgot the, the carry. The other thing seven. we have to get to after this tape is Gino's <laughs> well, rude behavior. Oh yeah, AC. And Absolutely. And let me tell you something about him. Mike later. called Dan last night and wanted to wanted Gino's address, and there's five Gino addresses. <laughs> by the way, just go to the any just go to any open mic night and throw a rock, and Gino might be living with the comedian on stage. <laughs> Go to any open mic night in the New York City area, <laughs> and the comedian on stage might be might be charging Gino Bisconti rent. I thought that in Washington was Heights. One. Well, Gino, yeah. I, I wouldn't be a bookie. I'd probably be a loan shark if I was in the mob. You'd yeah. be very alone. Okay. No, I wouldn't have a problem beating on people. I know. Well, that's, well, that's the thing. Well, you'd, you'd be have like to, a henchman. A good yeah, henchman. you'd be but the loan shark. But you do shark. love Twitter. You'd have to give that up because they don't like when people talk. No, I'd rather be, just be a money guy for them. You know what I mean? You're at Mike Boschetti, just beat up someone for no. a little, little pussy Russo. <laughs> Uh, is that true, Mike? Would you? Are you from Staten Island? You're Italian. Did you, were you afraid you'd have to go into that life of of ne'er do well? There was so many tempting people around us like that. There really yeah. was. I mean, you know, when you grow, grew up in poverty with five kids and your dad wasn't there and stuff. Oh yeah. Well, I'm going to show you how much of a player Mike is. How much of a loyal friend he is with this tape. I ask him to swallow balloons of heroin for me. That's You've dangerous. You could die. Hey, oh. Well, huh? of course, Mike. But Mike chose not to. We've all asked people at this table to swallow, well, Stacey, listen. haven't we? Oh, my God. <laughs> Aaliyah, how do you feel about this? I'm all for swallowing. Yeah, yeah. nice. There Aaliyah. You there you go. <laughs> Aaliyah, are you, by the way, are you insulted if we say porn star? Uh, no. Okay. Well, because it says adult uh, entertainment industry. You never oh, know. Oh, you know the fancy word for cocksucker? Yeah. yeah. Sure, whatever. <laughs> right. I like Good. the cut of her jib. I like her already. <laughs> You're an entertainer. Uh, yeah, exactly. You're okay. Porn star, now comic, obviously very funny. Dalia will be checking in throughout the day. Uh, but uh, we'll interview her in more depth later. Yeah, Mike, this, this just proves that you could be in the mafia. You could be a henchman. I don't want. I wouldn't want to kill people. Maybe just collect money. And, well, this would make you, know, you a copo to pay people's debts off that couldn't pay. I wouldn't be a good mob guy. Really. I did ask Mike if he was clogged up at all, like a lot of fat guys can get. <laughs> How long would it take him to share? Well, I think the tape. <laughs> I think the tape speaks for itself. We do the math when he'd have to eat the muffin because he said a muffin. <laughs> a muffin. Yeah, oh, muffins I'm, give you the we run. Went over the types of what type? Well, we'll, we'll get into this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, here's me on a hidden mic. This is. Mike, definitely being honest, has really happened. Right before the show, this is me asking Mike to smuggle heroin into Montreal so I wouldn't have a seizure by swallowing it and then shitting it out. Mike Bichetti and me, here we go. Thanks. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, Yeah. We're sitting down. Hey, just sit here. Okay. So, are you excited about Montreal? Very excited. Very excited, excited about Montreal. Listen, I I got to ask you a question. Sure. Uh, so, as you know, uh, yeah, I've been trying to stay good with the heroin, you know. And um, my doctor's afraid if I don't take some up there, I'm going to have a seizure. <laughs> yeah, a bad that's seizure. It. And uh, I was wondering if you wouldn't help me out with that. It's very simple. It's very. It's, it's nothing dangerous. I mean, what, what's your initial reaction to that? I don't want to enable you. No, you're not enabling me. It's a doctor's order. <laughs> you understand? It's not uh, good you. Would it help you if the doctor said okay? If the doctor, if you talk, yeah. talk to the doctor, sure. And so, but here's the problem: just getting it up there, we're both going to have to. I mean, again, I want you up there, and I'm not. I'm not saying you, you do whatever you want, but it would just be like that. Have do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? Well, say it. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, that, uh, how would you do something like that? Uh, I'm terrified, first of all. I wouldn't want, want to be like, uh, what do you call it? Midnight Express. Midnight, no, it's nothing like that. It's a small amount. It's a good reference. Oh, God. Now, what you have to do is, there's a there's two ways to do it. There's a latex glove we could, we could uh, you know, uh, wrap it in. Okay? And you put olive oil on it. And, okay? And you swallow two of them. Well, I can swallow food. I know. So you, you swallow two of them. It even tastes good. It's really easy. Like a pellet. And then you go to your, you go to your hotel room when we get up there. They're never... See, the problem is they'll suspect me. They'll never suspect you. You understand so far? Um, I feel like we're playing the mafia hit right now. No, we're not playing the mafia hit. This is just... You're helping me not have a seizure. That's what you're doing. No, no. It's a very serious medical thing. No, no. Because otherwise, my doctor says, if you don't go up there with this, you may die from a seizure. 
Oh. And then address the problem when we get back. Oh, he goes, you have oh, to have a really close friend who will help you. Uh, and then you just, you know what you do then after you swallow it. No, you, 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 well, you want to throw it, or you just poop it out. But the thing is, I don't want this to be being something like this going to set you off or stuff. You know what I mean? No, I've been, th this would actually help me. What's this? <laughs> I'm shutting this off. Fucking people have been bothering me. Yeah, shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> He'd I, just don't want to see, I don't want to see it sick and have a seizure, but I also want to see you having more problems. Well, no, you're helping me because I'll be taking less than what I was taking. You just put that down for one second. I'm sorry, Mike. Uh, so you just, you know, you, you know, you, you would poop it out and, you're, and you just, just boil it in water. Whatever you need, but I don't, I don't want to be an enabler. I don't want to see you want, you know what I mean? It's you're like, not I'm enabling. Like, as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll let you talk to the doctor. He's going to tell you you're saving my life. Is what you're doing. Find his doctor. Okay. His I van is parked. I don't want to ruin your life. I want to save And as a matter of fact, I'm getting paid money. I'm going to give you extra money for this. <laughs> I want to give you 10 grand for it. Well, that's... I, <laughs> I, 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 just feel, I, don't, I just don't want to you know, get you in trouble. I don't want to see nothing happen to you. We're not going to get in trouble. I mean, I, you, so, so in other words, you, you poop it out twice, you just boil it in water, and you bring it to my room. Or I'll come up to your room. Give me your thoughts. Tell me what your problem is. I just don't want to see anything happen to you either way. I don't want to see you die from a seizure. I don't want to see you fucked up. So I love, you know what I mean? Right. Well, that's not going to happen. My aunt died at 12 years old. I was 12 years old. My aunt died of a heroin overdose at 33. Right, but this is and not... And loaded to the ground. It's, it's, it's not a good thing. Right, of course not. But I'm not shooting it or anything. I'm just I'm just uh, snorting a little bit to keep me straight. And then when I come home, I'm going away. But we have to get Montreal done. This is big. Because Dan knows about the shit, right? Dan, Dan knows about it. And he goes, well, you could ask Mike. He goes, but I'm going to support whatever Mike wants. But the thing is, if you can't do it, we have to cancel. I have to cancel Montreal. Well, it's up to you. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, whatever you need me to do, I'll do whatever wow. you want. Are you willing to just swallow the two piles and just poop them out? I'll die for you if I have to. Yeah, well, you're not going to die. We'll never let you die. <laughs> whatever you need, I'll, as long as you don't... But if, you know, I thought then if something bad happened, I would feel horrific. No, nothing bad is going to happen. Nothing bad is going to happen. Now, uh, do you have any bowel problems right now? <laughs> like you're, you, you go on a regular basis? I shit like a whole race wash. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, since then you use, so you don't, don't forget and flush them down the toilet. No, 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 no. The first <laughs> shit you take uh, when you get off the plane, well, how, how, when do you first take a shit? Okay, it could be, I gotta eat some roughage sometimes. Ruff <laughs> roughage? No, roughage. So, so on the trip, I wanna, you know what I'm gonna do? I wanna, you ever have kale? No, but I gotta have a muffin. A muffin helps you like ship muffin. better? Oh, yeah. Not rough like a greasy muffin? No, not like a banana, like a pistachio. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna come here early, and I'll have the two pellets set. And we'll we'll do it just, just me and you in private. Dan, you'll be involved. And Hot. you'll put olive oil on it. And you swallow it. It's like swallow it. Before anything goes, I want to talk to a doctor. For, I want to see this discussion. <laughs> oh, sure, no. We'll, I'll let you talk to the doctor. What doctor? <laughs> But I want you to get a full examination, too, because I want to make sure your body can take it. But it's nothing. It's just like swallowing a pellet. And then you poop it out. Now, so you don't think you'll have problems with this? As long as you're okay. That's the bottom line. Your safety is more important than mine. No, no it's not. Your safety is more important. Like, Mike, you're a better human being than I am. No, no, no. But I'm trying to help the both of us out. Do you know this opportunity we have up there? They, they asked for you. I know. They asked for you because they think you're hilarious on the show. They never and I'm trying to get you a spot up there doing stand-up, but you just have to poop out heroin. But the thing is, like, if something, you know, if you start having a problem with it again, I feel like you just... But I already have a problem with it. In other words, I can't stop long enough to go to, the, to, go to Montreal. So, but the doctor said, he goes, you're going to help yourself out. I'm not, you, he's going to prescribe uh, less. Would this be like methadone like that? That's what it is? It's heroin. It's street heroin. But it's black. It's, it's, it's brown. It's, it's strong. It's good stuff. But it's going to keep me from having a seizure. Now, when you poop out the one, do you think it'll take two poops to get both of them? My poop's extra large. Right, but do you think you'll poop out both in one? Probably. Now, would you need to eat extra, you think? No, I work out all the time, so I got a regular bowel movement. Do you really? When do you usually poop? Say we have an 8 a.m. What, what's the best time flight-wise? Well, say we have an 8 a.m. flight. Maybe, uh, how long does it take to get there? One hour. 
That's it's like, a, a Montreal short. It's like Toronto. I thought it was like it's about hour. an hour and five minutes. That's it. That's like going to Chicago. Well, right, right, no, Chicago. even shorter than Chicago. That's so no, wait, no, wait, let me ask you. So say you poop. Say you we have an eight a.m. flight. Say you we, I give you the two heroin pellet balloons at seven. <laughs> when would you poop them out? How long? When would you have to take them out? Because you don't want to poop on a plane. <laughs> I, don't, I feel guilty about this. <laughs> You're helping me, Mike. When when would you poop? So in other words, how long after you eat the muffin would you poop out the heroin? Maybe an hour or two later. <laughs> okay, so we need, why don't you bring the muffin on the plane? Is there a specific? Because we're not going to have muffin. A specific kind of muffin Stop, that slop at Starbucks. Okay, what kind of muffin at Starbucks? Uh, what do you call it? Um, and it, maybe, maybe banana bread. Even. <laughs> so what helps you poop the best? Oh, salads definitely do. So you want to get? Why don't we do this? Why don't we bring on the plane a salad? <laughs> And a, and a banana bread muffin. A banana muffin or something? And you'll take the heroin pellets right before we leave for the airport. And then you, you eat... A half an hour into the flight, you eat the uh, muffin and salad. And then when you, when you get to the air, when we get to the hotel, you poop it out. I feel sad about this in a way, too. Well, it's oh a God. sad thing that I've gotten myself through, too, but you're helping and then, and Mike, after it's done, we have a great trip, and I come home and I get out. <laughs> great time. I want to talk to you, Doc. <laughs> we'll talk to the doctor. I just don't want you to wonder, like, what Elvis Presley thought there. Fucking idiot, did, you know what I mean? Logan. Well, no, Elvis Presley did have that. He had scumbags. This guy's a real deal. This guy's a real deal. He lets me do their own. The problem is customs. The problem is customs. Oh, no. They're not gonna take and, and, and they're not gonna they're not gonna take X rays or anything. I'm not a selfish guy because you know I love you. I would do anything for you. I just don't. Well, you don't want to be selfish. You want to be selfish, right? No. You want to help me? Yeah. I'm gonna help you, but I don't want to hurt you. This is a small favor. <laughs> That's small. Don't you feel it's a small favor? Thirty-five to. Life. Just eating and shitting. I'm asking you. To do. <laughs> no, it's not about that. It's about, you know, it's That's a great lie. Just eating and shitting. <laughs> You know, Mike, I'll never forget this. One time I needed money to gamble on the DirecTV show, and you said no, and it was because you love me. I'll never forget that. No, I, I wouldn't give you a penny. I don't I feel bad about that shit. But this is different. <laughs> this is physical illness. Talking about seizures that can kill me. I don't want it to lead to a mental illness. No, no, no. No, no, no. I want to talk to you, Dr. Darwin, before we do anything. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fuck around with you. Just okay. say say it out loud. Say you're willing to poop for me. I'm willing to take a shit for you. I don't you're willing to take a, you're willing to shit out heroin for me. I will shit out heroin for you and I will even shoot people up if I need them. You well, I don't want you to shoot it up. You say, I mean as a friend, so you're saying out loud what? As a you, friend I'll fucking you. shit heroin for you. <laughs> as a friend you will shit heroin. Right. But the thing is, uh, this is not I, I my heart is telling me not to do this in a way because Now do you know how to do you know how to boil it? Boil it just just gotta make it make sure no water gets into the heroin. No no. But uh, the thing is I feel heart horrific about this because I don't wanna just you know what I mean? It's it's an addiction. I know that I already have, but Mike, I mean, what you just said, I'm going to think about that forever. That's, that's, that, what a friend. Say that again. What a friend. I'm going to think, what a friend you are, because I'm going to talk to your doctor. Yes. If I like something that he says, okay, I, I okay. I fuck about the festival. You're much more friendly. Okay, okay, but say what you just said again. That's the most impressive thing. What's that? That you would shit out. I would shit out heroin for you. <laughs> it's, a debar- a it's a debarge Listen song. Me, right? The bottom line is, the most important thing Love. is, I really don't give a shit. You're much more of a friend than any fucking festival. Right. Is, you know what I mean? Right. If it's going to fuck you up, I'm not going to do this. All right, Mike. All right. I, I have You're my number answer. One, you know what? I, I have my answer. You're willing to shit out heroin. I would, I would shoot people for you. You know that. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> wow. What a friend. No, but the thing is, <laughs> listen to me, right? Let's talk to the doctor tomorrow. When you talk, talk to the tomorrow, and if I don't like what something says, I'm not going to do this. Okay. I'm not going to fucking... But other, if I'm you not like going to enable you, I'm not going to fuck you up like this. But if you like it, what will you do? I really got to see what he said. If you like what he said and you're satisfied, but, uh, you might, you, uh, Friendships are forever. You're much more valuable than some damn ass festival You know what I mean? But this is for the both of us, Mike. This could help our careers. <laughs> I want to help your life more. This you could help your mom. This could help you. Like, you're going to go up there and kill. This could help your family. And all you have to do is shit out heroin. No, no, no. <laughs> Shitting out heroin. No, will help no, your no, 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 no. You uh, can do that I'm on your own. You you're not fucking enable, enable you. You're not enabling me. You're not enabling me. I'd rather fucking die myself than enable you. You're not. I would never let that happen. I'm going to help. If you shit out this heroin, Mike, you can help your family. 
Alright, I'm not helping you, you know what? Because. Uh, Are you kidding? The bottom line is all right. I don't. I don't trust the medical industry to begin with. So I don't know. Yeah. Well, 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 right. No question there. Uh, you worked a zillion times more than some ass. Just mentally say that one more time, because it's gonna. You work. You fucking worked more than me than anything on But say you'll shit out again. So one shit out heroin. But wow. The bottom line is wow. Listen to me, right? Wow. I don't give a fuck about some festival. I don't give a fuck about anything. You're my friend and I love you more than anybody. All right, buddy. I'm not right. And if this doctor's a cook, I would fucking whack him out. Right. That's all I need to know. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike. I, I love it, Mike. Give it up. A lot of friends. That would have been pretty good. That was good. Loyalty, still, thy name is Mike Boschetti. What a friend, man. I'm still shaking up. I really oh, am. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, my God. Wow. It's sh- uh, I'm shocked. It's shocked. The thing is, what is your initial reaction, Stace? I, 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 I know he's your friend, but he you don't realize that thing explodes, you drop dead. Like, it's like a big deal. Like, yeah. I would, sh- you know, you don't shit on heroin for anyone. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever, Mike. For Ever. In the fu- Mike, in the future, don't do that. No. <laughs> Ever. The future say no, no matter who it is. I'm sorry. To Tomorrow we go talk to the doctor. <laughs> Tomorrow we, 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 we get in my car, we drive to an alley. The guy's van is clearly marked. And he will tell you in broken English that I am in need of heroin. Go ahead, buddy. No, but, uh, I, my brother's an, an addict in, in recovery, right. right? And the thing is... I know how addicts can lie to people. That's why I want to fuck with. I'm sure. You didn't call Artie. No, can can I, you didn't call Artie out on it. Like you should know better. Like that made me angry. No, he called him out a couple. No, times. he said no, Artie. Know. You're lying. That's a lie. You're clearly an addict, and I'm going to take you for help. That should have been the answer. Yeah. Now I'm going to shit I heroin stay- out for you. <laughs> I'm going to take a muffin and put the thing in my stomach. A, a then, banana. Run, a banana, banana nut. He needed, ru- he needed, hold on. No, but I wasn't he, really. He needed roughage, and he said, well, what do you need for roughage? First of all, he needed roughage. Now, I don't know if I know what roughage is, but it's never been a muffin, ever. <laughs> and latex gloves with olive oil up your ass. I mean, come on, Mike. That's not. Yeah, I mean, it can't all be like your point. problems. He was just being a, he was just being a guy. He was being a guy. He was being I a friend. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Do, I, first of all, I told. I told Audie I wouldn't enable him. I would never really do. I wouldn't. But that is enabling, Mike. I'm not getting. I'm getting angry. The the best part <laughs> to me. No, don't get angry, Adam. The no. best part to me had to be when you said, Mike, you're not really doing much. You're just eating and shit. <laughs> 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 you you simplified it. At first, I was like, he's doing a lot. But then when you broke it down like that, Audie, yeah. Mike. But you know what? Sense. You have blind loyalty. You're like me. Like we grew up in the same way. You you should don't let anybody ever do that. To you. No, but I would never. Oh. I would, that's scary to me, actually. Audie. Don't let anybody. That's ever to do be a that lady. To you. I don't know. I think that's the lady part of you. Stay. See, as a dude, I'm like, I well, understand. Well, it is. Now you're being a woman. I well, what about sad. what about Aaliyah? You're a porn star from a questionable, uh, a questionable <laughs> a career. Have you ever eaten and shit? And that's. I mean, would you? Would you I eat and shit regularly. Would yeah, you, not would, heroin. Though. Would you shit out balloons of heroin? Uh, Aaliyah? No, okay. no, I would not. See, a porn star would, yeah, but you're gets, a good friend. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. First of all, I would. I didn't. When I talk, talked about talking to a doctor, I wouldn't. He wasn't going to. Obviously, I could never get a doctor, so he wouldn't have done. No, but the thing is, but I. I know a doctor. What credentials would you have? Water from the dark. No, first of all, <laughs> he would have had one of those oh things coat. on one of those mirrors on his head. No. Well, he's a doctor. Let Mike talk. No. Uh, poop. No, but the thing is, Art, I know my brother's an addict, like I said. I know they can lie to people. And they put anybody. their friends and family in horrible positions, addicts. They do. They ask for things. They don't know what to do. You know, you had me very confused in there and really, really upset at the same There's time. I'm serious. Well, of course, because you're a, you're a good person. Ups- upsetting. Oh, wow. It was very yeah. upsetting. It thought you were going to relapse. You really, you really. Well, I, it's a, well, you you did you did what you thought you had to do, Mike. And, but I would never fucking do that in reality. Oh, I, really I, felt, I don't think he would either. No. Nice. I don't think he would. No, think I, of the reality of it. I don't think he would have actually. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to enable you. I would not fucking. I don't give a fuck about anything. But you know what I mean. I would not enable anybody. But don't shoot. Someone for somebody. I, would, I'm only, I, I just as a reference. Uh, <laughs> as a reference, <laughs> Stacy, uh, is there any way we can get in touch with this doctor who who would definitely say okay to heroin? Yeah, no, I mean that's the <laughs> thing. We would know. like to interview this doctor. There's so many anti seizure medications. I would say, oh, but you so uh, right, you had the right thing, Mike, when you said methadone. You were going in the right direction, like a legal a legal drug. <laughs> no, but the thing is, uh, I don't I don't know what's inside your brain. I, I try. I would Nothing. not wish you. Could, <laughs> get effed up here, you know what I mean? Now, believe me, I, I look like an asshole there. You you look like a nice guy. No, but I was confused because you don't know. I mean, here's a guy, you know. I don't but, know what's really. You know what showed you as a person when you said at the end, "I don't care about my career. I don't care." About I don't. My career. Right there, that I, I, showed. I, I, I don't give a fuck because. 
it's, it's oh, things are always going to be here. Your family, your family, no, your friends not, are not going to be here. That's not true. Well, everyone in this room will probably die broke and depressed. <laughs> I'm <laughs> right uh, here, Art. I can hear you. Maybe Chris is young. I don't know. <laughs> But I'm saying, it, I mean, it's probably not going to end well for any of us. The career, I mean. <laughs> but it helps. Maybe anything. life, maybe one of us will open a deli or a gift shop. <laughs> what no, would you, you know what I mean? And, uh, and, and we'll no, but we're tired of the English countryside and be happy. No, but I, I really so was, and, I really was, and, and right. shaken up about this. It's not a good thing. You know what I mean? It's scary. I know, but you're a strong man. Uh, thank you. Sir. Man with you his, are. With the heart is as big as his colon. I've never in my <laughs> life. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. You know that was funny. I, I, <laughs> yeah, but I'm worried that one day there'll be somebody else and I'll shoot that. You know? No, no, one, you're not no, gonna no shit. he wasn't. Shit. 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 He no. said you'll never shit on heroin for anybody. I will never fucking shit on heroin okay. I'd for I'd anybody rather, but Artie. No, Mike, I got this Ooh. crack cocaine. I need you. To I'd rather shit. fucking <laughs> die than you die, Artie. I swear to God. What if I don't met, like losing people? What if I'm I got a ticket to the Oscars? <laughs> no, Art, I don't like losing. Crystal's people. hosting. I understand. Crystal is hosting. I understand. I would rather die before family and friends any day. Yeah, but you know, you know what, Mike? That's another thing uh, you have to get out of your head. You're too generous. Mm -hmm. You are. I think well, some people... That, but that's all I am now, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but you're too generous. No, Hi, I, Snuggles. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> what if Snuggles wanted you to shit out her? <laughs> well, he's not a... I, 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 would, I would do anything for Snuggles. I, I love you Snuggles. Know what, you know what we should do? Play... play after video. he says, hey, Snuggles, put I'll shit out heroin for you. <laughs> Well, what went during the break? Can we do that? I have a video, a new one. Oh. A new a one? A new oh, video? To year. I, I, love love video. I love Snuggles so Why much. don't we take a break? There's a lot to talk about. We're going to take a break. Okay, we don't have to. I can do it while we're talking. Well, you know, let's take a break. Edit, edit together, Mike, uh, telling Snuggles to cheat out. Well, but I feel effed up myself now. But and we'll get the new tape ready of yes. Mike doing Snuggles. <laughs> and then that. we'll address the Gino situation. Last night, Gino way out of line. This is way way out of Gino, line. Gino, accept, accept you're wrong. Gino, you were wrong. Oh, Gino. The bad I mean, when guy. I ask you to shit out wrong. heroin with a hidden mic is a little out of line. But... <laughs> And when, you so were doing, when you were doing last night with Stacey, you know Mike loves. Mike, right? You were really mad last night. I was fucking over, over I was like fucking too. Oh, wait. There was more to what you were going to say. <laughs> uh, bullies bullies. Are bullies. We're going to take a break. Bullies are bullies are bullies. No, I got to talk about bullies. That reminds me about him. <laughs> we're going to come back. Bullies are bullies when we are come bullies. Back, Gino's a cyber when we, bully. When we come back, we're going to edit together Snuggles and Shitting Out Heroin. You said Gino's a sexy bully. Is that what you said, Stacey? <laughs> we're going to hear oh, cyber oh. bully. We're going to hear... Snuggles and shitting out Aaron. We're gonna hear the new Snuggles mic tape, and we're gonna get to the bottom of the bullying, the Geno shit. I'm a bully. So, so inappropriate. <laughs> and uh, you we'll talk, baby gorilla. We'll talk to Ali a little more. It's the hundredth episode, guys, and it's off to a, a hard hitting, hitting smash episode. Hard hitting. <laughs> Whatever. We're, 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 that's good enough. We're back. We're back. You let me just see these stopwatch. Already quit or already lying uncensored podcast packed house. That's right, uh, James Flippy Flipmeister, Flipperoni, Dan Falato, Chicago, behind the dish, along with Flip, the great Mike Boschetti, Stacy Pressman, Gino, <laughs> Scott Day, what's up, son? Adam Millville, of <laughs> course, uh, South Philly's own Chris Cotton. He's looked racism in the face his entire life, <laughs> and he said, "Fuck you." <laughs> yeah, good, good for you, Chris. That's Fuck all I idiots. Do. That's what I do. Of course, Aaliyah Janine. A uh, porn star became a comic. Already has proven she's wittier than everyone in the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very funny, good stuff. Thank you very much. Aaliyah has a sleeve of tattoos, correct? I do. Nice. Thanks. Aaliyah's attractive, funny. That's what we need here. More Stacy and Aaliyah. That's what we need. Attractive cool. and funny. So Great. I'm not doing good? All right. You're not feeling this guy? You have nice Excuse tits. Me, who are you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, once again, Chris looking in the face of racism. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a black or white thing. Chris Rock. I seen him do comedy for the first time. Why? And Chris Rock. You saw him do no, comedy Chris, finally? I thought you have seen him a bunch of Why he's, he's, he's no. all over the place. No, I never seen Chris well, do stand-up. Once again, he worked with me and Gina the other night and once again destroyed. He always destroyed. Oh, no, I know, I, I know Chris is a funny guy from the old show and this, but I never seen him as a stand-up. Let's move on. <laughs> he was awesome. Hold on, let him talk. Let him talk. No, Chris is great. I, why do you think he, I work with him? I don't have. I, I don't know. No, have no on what I I'm trying to say is, I didn't funny. know him as a stand-up. I knew him on the show and doing this. Black. Why don't you shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> is that Twitter Tony? The Twitter Tony just show up. <laughs> Jesus Christ! At the fuck up. I, I just thought, I just wanted to tell him. I thought well, he was great. Point out something else that's obvious. Yeah. I don't have any obvious things going on. Captain Obvious, the hackiest bit ever. Captain Obvious. They steal that from for a whole ad campaign. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, again, everyone's here and we're happy because it's our, that's right, 100th episode, a C-note, a yard, a sheet 
of episodes. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. As they say it down next. Uh, but of course, what we played in the first segment was uh, me telling Mike that he needed to swallow and shit out balloons of heroin for me going to Montreal. Mike agreed on tape to do it like a wonderful person. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, he was actually telling me what kind of food would help him shit. And uh, we decided a, a, a salad and banana muffin. Right, uh, Mike? That you need a shit. roughage. Yeah. What about your iced coffee? That helped. <laughs> uh, no, iced coffee makes me pee a lot, not crap. But well, you can't pee out the heroin. That would be oh. insanely painful. Okay. Oh. Peeing out the balloon of heroin. I wouldn't touch it quite frankly. How long would you have an erection after that, by the but way? Th that's, a, that's addiction, by the way. Would I trust that Mike, would I trust that Mike properly washed these balloons of heroin before I put it in <laughs> that's my That's what I was thinking box. the whole time. It's take called addiction. <laughs> it's called addiction. He How could much? wipe them off with a towel and I'd, I'd shoot it. How much guacamole would you put on them to get it down? Oh. In the <laughs> I told him, put a little olive oil. Really? <laughs> EVVO, extra virgin olive oil. Oh, 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 oh. You got Mario Patali, season them. She's <laughs> showing you spaghetti, you'd make me go. Okay, okay, we have heroin balloons. It's amazing how well thought out it was, and by that no. I mean lived over and over again by Hardy, uh, Hardy in a past no, I, life. I have this image of my tick go shitting in the in the hotel, oh. running to Hardy's room. Hardy, I don't know what to do with them, and they're like in a pile of shit in the, in the hotel. Like that scene in Jurassic Park yeah. 3, where they're looking for the, the cell phone. But Hardy like... <laughs> Julia Childs, oh, Julia, Julia Childs cooking show. You Finish take shit. a balloon of heroin. <laughs> you put a balloon of heroin in the olive oil. Yeah, okay. no, no. You then no. put the breading. You know, make me really go. I and then you put it, it in the pan. <laughs> Sicilian spaghetti. Don't be bashful. Get in there. No. What's Sicilian spaghetti? <laughs> Al you all. It's called. Al you all. Al you. Dude, that's not spaghetti. It's what you put on it. Al olive oil. Oh, and yeah, garlic. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I imagine all the things he'd be pulling out of the bottle of the shit that weren't heroin. A sock. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my God. Is that a can of Play Doh? What the? I, I didn't even. Freak that's out. a baby arm. <laughs> a, video, a videotape of Godfather 2. <laughs> I don't remember eating any baby. Snuggles litter. Uh, a CD of Bad Lieutenant. <laughs> you st you put the heroin in the balloon. The latex love or condom will work. <laughs> Tie the condom. And then put it on the brajol pan. <laughs> you roll the heroin around in the olive oil. Ooh. Put some veal cutlet breading on it. <laughs> okay. And then you cook for two hours and 34 minutes at high 380. Woohoo! Then you put Mike Machete into the plane to Montreal <laughs> for an hour and 15 minutes. Then Mike eats a banana muffin and some salad and shits, shits it out. <laughs> Over Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the planes always get delayed. That's right. So. He then asks the stewardess for assistance <laughs> in oh. the bathroom of the plane. Oh, bananas. So I would have probably wanted to grab Banana. They're binding. Uh, excuse me, stewardess. <laughs> I'd like oh, really? a banana. I'm <laughs> shitting out everyone for the obese man in the first class. <laughs> <laughs> he needs her. Oh, uh, cr cr uh, pineapple juice. Could the water get hot enough at the high end of Montreal <laughs> for him no. to properly clean that balloon? No. No. No, he'd take the coffee machine and boil the water through the co <laughs> oh, oh. coffee machine. For somebody who wants them not to do this, Stacey, right, you're creating a lot of options. She's no. going with the bit. I, I know I know about how things are done. She's, she's <laughs> very practical. She's a comedian first in this event. <laughs> Absolutely. She's great. <laughs> Then you take the heroin out of the balloon after it's been properly emulsified. You have to do the reveal, though. Like, this is how it looks like when you're done. So you're like two balls of shit and you pull the heroin out. Reveal. Okay. That's there. called the reveal. Okay, Mike Nichols. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Not doing Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. It's Mike. <laughs> I, just, I just imagine Mike holding the balloon. The oh, and running through the Hyatt. <laughs> <laughs> like the Hyatt at the Hyatt. Uh, oh, oh God! Oh God! Canadian! Mike. Oh God! <laughs> Mike, you, Mike, you shit out heroin! Oh God! Oh God! That's what cop says, Mr. Boschetti. You shit out heroin! Oh God! <laughs> I love it. Who's it for? Mike being a good soldier. It's not for Audie Lang. <laughs> no, I, I would you give me up to the cops? No. What would you say? You blame it say on a black. I, I blame it on a black guy. No. I well, what the fuck did I do? That's Keith Robinson's. Uh -oh. That's Keith Robinson's heroin. Say they were hidden in the muffin. Say they were hidden in the Man, muffin. Man, I ain't got no hair on. I don't know how this happened. I've just eaten muffins in Starbucks. Chris, what would Keith out. say if we accused him of the heroin? Ah, uh, nah. See, look, now nah, I didn't eat no. Uh, I don't <laughs> have no heroin, motherfucker. 
Huh? That's that white boy's heroin over there. You motherfucker. Nice. Anyway. I hope you know who Keith Robinson is because that was a great. It was. It's was easy. Smart, when I do I Keith, I slip, I, in love Robinson. I slip in a Chappelle. That's a good Keith Robinson. And he nailed it. You go in a, I don't want to. Yeah, motherfucker. Mother, yeah, you motherfucker. motherfucker. Think y'all you know d- me. You don't know shit Britain about James. me. <laughs> you and your dumb birthday. Everything's uh, dumb. Yeah. You and I your dumb, dumb a, face. I go in a Rick James, bitch. <laughs> His stupid face. Nice, and stupid. Fucker, eating fucking muffins <laughs> and shit. Stupid. I want some roughage. Roughage. Roughage is in fucking muffins, stupid. Mike said roughage. <laughs> he <laughs> did say roughage. I said, can you shit it out? He goes, I need some roughage. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. That's lettuce and roughage. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lettuce Boschetti, I'm a, uh, I'm a Canadian state trooper. You're looking at 35 years. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to a Liam Neeson. I think we should film that scene. I think Listen, we should do a scene of it. I'm not a good person. I once raped a second bear. <laughs> but I didn't shit this blue. <laughs> uh, all right, so we took some of Mike, uh, you know, saying he'd shit out a balloon of heroin for me, along with the racist manifesto mm-hmm. where that Mike read for us last week about n words. We have and, a new uh, video, and then we, we we we're gonna say we I'm, I'm getting to it, but uh, what we did was we. Uh, we edited that with a new Snuggles the Cat video. Mike <laughs> talks to Stacy Pressman. I love Snuggles. He loves uh, Stacy. I'll say. And yep. This is he how he snuggles. talks to Snuggles. A new tape. This is Mike talking to a cat. Jesus Christ. Hey, Snuggles. Hi, Snuggles, Johan. How are you, baby? What? I love your Snuggies. <laughs> I miss you so much, Snuggles. I miss you. But you're a good big boy. That's you right. Were, you were a good big a boy. And Mama said, you've been a good boy. And next week, I'm going to see Mommy. And you know what? You're going to get a scratchy toy. Yay. You're going to get a big scratchy toy. Like last time. It's in my you're pants and it itches. And I love you, Snuggies. Oh, my God. Oh, you're a good boy. Good. You're a good baby boy. You're a good big boy. I gotta go sleepy sleep. <laughs> I gotta go sleepy sleep. <laughs> Mommy, go sleepy We go on Audie show tomorrow. That's right, Audie show. You know what, oh, Snuggles? Oh People know you. You're a big boy. You're a big movie star boy now. You're a big boy. <laughs> movie star. That's right. You're a big movie star boy. I love you, Snuggles. I love you, Snuggies. You're a big movie star kitty now. That's right. Everybody in Audie Show talks about you. Gross. We all love you, Snuggles. That's right. We all love you. We love you, Snuggies. Night, night. I love Mama, too. I love Mama more than anybody, Snuggles. Oh. Night, night, Snuggies. Oh, oh Stacy, your mom. Sleepy sleep. Oh, <laughs> Your mom in that situation, does that not make you want to call the cops? I love mama more than anybody else. <laughs> Did, like, what does that mean? You're going sleepy mama. sleep. Sleepy <laughs> sleep. That was my fave, too. Sleepy Wait, you know what? Let's do one more time. Guys, let's just play that entire thing again clean. Let's try not to. Uh, I was guilty of it, too. I was the Mike one. Mike has a blanket. He's kissing his blanket. <laughs> you yeah, can cut, get it? Yeah, cut the mics. Cut the mics. Okay, well, no, no you don't have to cut the mics. Just... Don't, because don't. I want to hear maybe us giggling is kind of funny, but try not to talk. He has a okay, blanket. Everyone. This is my because it's important that you hear this clean because we're going to interact racism and him shitting out heroin uh. with this bit. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, Snuggles. Hi, Snuggles, Johan. How are you, baby? I love you, Snuggies. Aw, I miss you so much, Snuggles. I miss you. But you're a good big boy. That's right. You were a good big boy. And Mama said you've been a good boy. And next week, I'm going to see Mommy. And you know what? You're going to get a scratchy toy. Yay! You're going to get a big scratchy toy. Like last time. Because you were a good boy. And I love you, Snuggies. You're such a good boy. You were a good baby boy. You were a good big boy. I got to go sleepy sleep. I gotta go sleepy sleep. Mommy does too soon because we're going uh, on Audie show tomorrow. That's right, Audie show. You know what, Snuggles? People know you. You're a big boy. You're a big movie star boy now. You're a big boy. That's right. You're a big movie star boy. I love you, Snuggles. I love you, Snuggies. You're a big movie star kitty now. That's right. Everybody in Audie show talks about you. And we all love you, Snuggles. That's right. We all love you. We love you, Snuggies. Night, night. And I love Mama, too. I love Mama more than anybody, Snugs. Night, night, Snuggies. Mwah. 
<laughs> in the background, you hear Gino banging Sadie. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see that. Mama's yeah. got to go to bed. Oh, 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 I just sleep. see him say sleepy sleeps like that as he's soaking a rag what in is, chloroform. There's an H in going sleepy, sleepy sleep. What is he said snuggles, sleepy sleep. What is Snuggles Johan? What does that mean? That's his middle name. He's it is? Why do you give a cat From a middle name? All right, my ex-husband's middle name was Johan. Oh, God. So it was Timothy. Enough said. Yeah. Too deep. Tim- too deep. Timothy Johan was his name. All right, so uh, okay. our magician uh, is, of course, James Flippin. And I, I asked amazing. James. I gave James the ingredients. I said, take that, maybe but, some other snuggle stuff along with the racist manifesto. Yeah, I have to just uh, be clear. I didn't have that vi- that video at that point. You got other stuff. So it involves previous snuggle stuff. The other stuff is content. great, too. The previous snuggle stuff is great. So I said, take either. all the previous snuggle stuff oh, with our new, our new Mike shitting out heroin. Sleepy sleep needs to be a drop. Forever. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> That's not going anywhere. Mike yeah, kisses his blanket very lovingly. So yeah. the, the, the new Mike's going to shit out arrow and the old snuggle stuff and, of course, the racist manifesto where the N-word comes from. So Mike's going to go to jail after this episode. Let's hear <laughs> for, the, an animal for the 100th episode, and then we'll get into Gino being so rude last night. <laughs> Let's hear for the 100th episode this montage of wonderful. <laughs> It's my, it's montage of hair. Hi, Snuggles. I will shit out heroin for you. Hi, buddy. I will shit out heroin for you. I will even shoot people up. I need them. Hope you're doing good, Snuggles. <laughs> Niggas are stupid and violent. I love you, buddy. Just eating and shitting, I'm asking you to do. This is not true of white people. <laughs> I'm so glad you're feeling better. I'm so glad. Willing to take a shit. Snuggles, I'm so glad you're yourself again. <laughs> I will shit out heroin. Mommy told you you're doing really good. You're a big boy. Niggas are stupid and violent. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Tell you. You're a big boy and a good boy. I'm going to see you Thursday. They snuggles. Well, let me take a shit. Okay, because I'm coming to visit mommy. I will even shoot people up honey, though. And you know what? I will shit out heroin. Because you got better. And you were good boy. You were a big good boy. You were- Niggas are stupid and violent. <laughs> I'm going to bring you a toy. Uh, you know how to, do you know how to boil it? Boil it, just, just got to make it, make sure no water gets into the heroin. Good boy, Snuggles. <laughs> this is not true. You don't tell your boss you're on heroin. Night, night, buddy. <laughs> I feel a lot horrific about this because I don't want to just. See you Thursday. Shit out heroin. Bye, Snuggles. <laughs> mommy said you're a good boy. I will shit out heroin for you. Love you. <laughs> James, flipping the flipping. maestro, flipping the Great maestro. Job, I love I, ending it with "I would shit out heroin." <laughs> would Snuggles ask him to do that, Stacey? Never, right? Never. Never. No. James, no. the conductor. He's really a great boy. He would never ask me to harm anybody. Oh, people. thanks, Mike. <laughs> he happens to be a cat, so yeah, I he's know. a cat. <laughs> I mean, well, listen, uh, that's that's great stuff. And Mike, thank you for agreeing to shit on heroin. And of course, I would never ask you to do that. But let's understand what we uh, the the whole thing with me asking Mike to do that. Mike hinged the entire thing about whether or not he'd shit out the heroin and swallow it on if a doctor okayed it. (laughs) So let's let's examine. Let's say out loud what we were uh, what Mike was expecting a licensed doctor to okay. He was going to okay Mike. swallowing two balloons of heroin, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. shitting it out. Then, after boiling it in water, he was okaying me using the heroin prescribed. unsupervised. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he, it's prescribed. Yeah, unsupervised. They have the dosage on there, of course. Right, but of course, <laughs> I would be in charge of the dosage. <laughs> we trust Like you. any heroin addict would want to be. Artie, I'm going to need to see the script. Okay, Mike, I'm going to write that. <laughs> this is Dr. Philbin. Uh, no, Mike, babe. I'm okaying you swallowing two balloons of heroin, <laughs> moving your bowels till they come out, yeah. boiling it in water, and then, Artie, you as a heroin addict, I'm okay with you <laughs> being in charge of your own dosage yeah. for the two weeks you're up in Montreal mm-hmm. and take the heroin when you think you need it. I'm sure you won't overdo that. So, I mean, <laughs> so you're going to have to miss Jim class. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to make sure you it's have enough note. hair. I have a note to miss Jim. <laughs> uh, Ten uh, minutes afterwards, I need you to fly back to Jersey and get right. more hair. Exactly. <laughs> you can buy the heroin up in Montreal. Isn't it I, would go, I would go, <laughs> Mike, listen, here's the next thing you have to do. You have to score Stacey's making heroin. Good points. You have to score Mike, you have to, any cab driver can tell you in Montreal where to get it. It's French, Marseille, Versailles. Are cabbies the connect? Are cabbies the connect? A lot of times they are, sure. The French connection. It's called a good cabbie. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, well, now that that whole uh, thing is over with, good job, Mike, of course. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Amazing. You're making the 100th episode very special. This is an amazing yeah. episode. Uh, now, let's get to this. Gino. <laughs> Gino last night on Twitter really taking liberty, saying he was banging Stacy. All kinds of ridiculous stuff. What was he saying? He was not banging me. What was he saying? <laughs> What? I, I didn't say anything. Twitter. Mike, what was getting you mad? The thing is, first of all, let me explain something. <laughs> of course, right. go ahead. Here we go. Talk uh, you, this will be a first. <laughs> you're you're like like without, without you know, interrupting no, me. No, this is I, Mike explaining something. something. Go ahead. All right, first of all, right, 
Okay. If he's saying stuff like this on Twitter, right? Everybody else is going to have free reign to say stuff about her. You know what I mean? And right. It'll be a fiasco. It's a bad precedent to set. Is it's what you're it's saying. bad. It's bad to set her up like this because she's a great person. Great number woman. one, I agree. Great with talent, you. a good friend. I love more than anybody in the world. And I you know agree. what? It's not right to put a name out here like that and fuck and be and be a fucking disrespectful douchebag. Now listen to how violent and yeah. mad you now, get. Scalp that fucking idiot. So you yeah. got to the end of your witch last night and you called I, I asked Gino nicely, can you stop? And he was like, kept going. Kept that doesn't on, work with a guy like Gino. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> no, but the a thing fucking is, scum scum it's hard to yeah. multitask. I got no, Stacy's underwear on my head. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Gino. Gino, we're here right now <laughs> oh, and I'm you sorry. got time to make amends and you're not. You don't even give a I'm kidding. It wasn't on the head that I have eyes on. But the thing is, I can see. Let me figure something out my whole life. Well, you called Thanks to Guys like Gino, my life, my childhood was fucked up. Why? Because he, was fucking, because he was fucking your friend. <laughs> no. I'm a bully. Because people like Gino were fucking your friend. Talk about the bullies. Right. Bullies are bullies are bullies. Thank you. Because let me tell you something, right? Number one, I was bullied since childhood. My since God. first day on earth, I've been bullied, right? Right. Never went to my high school prom. Got a, had a fucked up life because of all the bullies and everything. All You're a bully, power pack? And bullies, right? Then when I started did the fight back. I started love beating up people. You know what I mean? You, like, yeah, as you yeah, said on the direct TV right. show, you, you got no, 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 wait. As you said on the direct TV show, you you got a taste for blood. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I stopped it. That's why. What do you mean by wait? Can then he, he got, got a taste a, for pizza. He, no, he got a. That? We always had that. Can you that. He already? had a blood thirst. <laughs> Mike, explain that to me. Okay, it's like being bullied all the time, right? That's why. That's why I'll, I'll use him as an example. Please do. Someone like Al Capone, right? right. Let me use him as an example for this right reason, right? Topic. Go right Even, ahead. Now let me finish, Gino. You never let Shut me. Shut your mouth, Gino. Gino. God damn it, Gino. Put his mic down. Go ahead. Put it in his ass where it belongs, really. Yeah. yeah. I know the really low. You can do that later. What do you call it? Uh, first of all, right. You know, a lot of guys like him were bullied, lived in poverty, got yes. picked on by assholes their whole lives, right? Then when they started fighting back with people, they just loved being a bully themselves. It was horrific. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's the cycle you had. I didn't. I ended it before it got any worse. The because, rage. The yeah. Rage. How were you it. mature enough to do that? You know why? A lot because of people I didn't like hurting people killers. after a while. You know why? Because Did you hurt a lot of people? I got into like about seven or eight fights. Well, you I, beat up people not. mercilessly. Yeah, but the I didn't like it though. Now, why? What did they do something to provoke? They, well, one guy used to pick on me because, like I said, I grew up in poverty. It's in but didn't they about, grow up in poverty? No, in the same neighborhood. No, it's, no, there was another school I went to, and this kid family was like credit card rich, like credit card rich. No, no, no. Daddy was, no Explain Mark, what that is for the non-street smart people. What, uh, mocking me how I look, dressed, and everything, and you know, and it's just like couldn't take it. Mocking you, mocking, mocking me, whatever. Right. And, they, and like, they, what, what were they saying to you? Oh, look at that shirt. All kinds of st ridiculous oh, stuff. Oh, look at that shirt. Yeah. Meanwhile, my mom tried to dress me nice in school every day and got me Nicely. dressed up. And Gino. Gino, fucking, Gino's Daddy. Yeah, I know. Gino's doing it. <laughs> Gino can't stop. Gino, you know, like, she's a fucking cocksucking jerk off. Yeah. Daddy. Daddy. Charges fan. He's you still in your so, line, you Stacey. Got so Daddy. Mad, you got so mad that you called Dan and I said, I, I want Gino's address. No, I don't want I want to go for, beat him up. Tell him where I live. I will gladly. Everywhere. Open mic. Anywhere where an open mic or Am I right or wrong about that, right? Everything in his, especially in his business, I can't emphasize enough. Especially with a capital C. Daddy. Of a <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry, Mike. Well, to me, put he's your hands on his throat and fucking choke the life out. He really is being an asshole. You get so angry, Mike. No, but he, but he inspires. Well, me. Gino is yes. really asking. What I'm trying to say is, I, I want to make a point that you will let me finish this. Okay, it's a whole okay. thing. This whole business, like life, is perception, okay? If he keeps saying stuff like that, it's going to be a mind fuck for idiots on Twitter. So I haven't heard right. Stacey's career. Absolutely. I don't want, you know what I mean? What the hell? How, so you think they believe that I'm really sleeping with No. Them? It has nothing to do with that stuff. That would be a dumb career move. No, he's just saying bang. <laughs> know what I'm saying about just stuff that's not, I don't try to appropriate. And the thing is that then everybody else will think it's inappropriate. Your field, open field day. That's what I'm trying to say. That's so what you're I trying meant. to prevent that yeah, from happening. Yeah, of course. That's yeah. what I meant. But you did get thing. real anger, like you wanted to physically attack. No, him. I wouldn't. But the thing is, it just got me annoyed. Though I asked him in a nice way, respectful way. You well, what is it? What was the nice way? I said, you know, please stop. This isn't cool. It's not. And then saying. when you got out of it, well, we'll get your side later. You know, but when it got and it kept going on and on. Like, really? Up, absolutely. And then how did you ask him rudely? I blocked him and I just fucking had it. And, I, and, and the thing is, what? It's hard enough in his business, especially for a woman as well. Very difficult. You know what I mean? And the thing is, it's not right to be presented in the way you're not, what you're not person you As are. someone who would sleep with Gina Buscana. No, <laughs> no, not, that it has nothing, happened. That has nothing to do with right, that. Right, go ahead. It had, that's not the, what I'm trying to get at. The point is, the point so wait, is. Wait, do you point? think I'm being presented incorrectly when Gino does that? Yes, really just quite bang, you say banging, you know, I don't, I don't like that kind of stuff. Do you think, think Stacey's 
uh, more offended by me making jokes as a comedian about this that's kind of funny, or do you think she's more offended that you are the only one on Twitter that believes them, and in a way, no, you're implying she's you know a what? hooah? You, would, you wouldn't listen to me, Gino. You wouldn't fuck... I asked you how many times. It'd be nice. Be now, now, let me ask you this. To me. Did Stacy ask you to defend her? No, I just thought it was right you to do. Now, don't you think you should ask Stacey if you should fight her battle? There are people that you could really fight for me with if I, we had, you know... Oh, yeah, people. so there we are know, people we you both really know, are... Oh, no, yeah. not about really? sexually, but, no, no, but know, I, I, financially. No. I'm, a, I'm a businesswoman already. I, no, I, I take just care of myself. No, what I'm saying is I just don't like the idea. Of, see, what about that? That there are people well, of course, she would like no. you to help her with. She's she's a great person. I'd do anything. Like I said, well, friends, instead of family. going after Gino, Gino, who's actually my friend and joking around to bother you, there are people that we really could go after. That oh yeah, really we were talking about this uh, in bed this morning, that, Mike, over breakfast, what and she's like, that, Gino. "Whoa, Gino, this is the problem here. This thing you're making allegations. You're, yeah. you're saying libel. You know what? Well, I wasn't I'm making not, allegations. I wasn't with Gino. Gino no, knows that. I have. Come what on. I'm trying to say. What is, about that, Mike? No, but the thing is, but if she's, you know what I mean. There are real issues at hand. Oh yeah, Bichetti. I'm just telling you. I know. Stacey's man. That you aren't handling no, it. I'm are you are you afraid of the other no, people? I'm not afraid of anyone. And number no, he's one, not afraid, but we just always we have to deal with no, the real thing. What people I'm trying really to say, us over okay. What I'm trying to say is the bottom oh, line. Wow, is, it sounds like that's right, terrible. Stay, what I'm trying to say is right. I don't think it, you know what. Then other people say all kinds of stuff. I don't like people being disrespectful. But what about what Stace is saying? That there's real money. There are. There's real problem. Really, yeah, I know the I know the story. And so is Gino. And Gino, we both were all on the same page with this situation. It's okay. over Which, with. But watch, you know, say what you want. You can say what you want. I don't so Gino, G- well, Gino, well, what's well. your side? Gino, stay calm. No, no wise cracking remarks about well, Gino. Give your. He end never of lets it. me finish a sentence to begin with. Who like, never lets you finish a sentence? Give your end of it. That's what I'm saying. Nothing. Well, I was just on Twitter, you know, and mm-hmm. Stacy nudges me, and she's like, "Hey, why don't you wake up, Muffin?" <laughs> and she says, "Why don't we do some tweets?" Gino, you make. And I said, "My phone is in my pants." And by the time we find my pants, now it's what yeah. three four hours right. Ago, right so we get some grub hub if you know what i mean and uh we couldn't find the other stuff right the and then, then mike starts you know screaming about oh and her honor and this and that the and only that. offensive about this is it's horribly unfunny <laughs> you don't like the <laughs> picture i painted this morning mike i know look i could take care of myself if i said mike i need to, someone's bothering me on twitter block him you know tell I him would, to shut the gosh. fuck up you would do it, but uh, Gino doesn't bother me. He's a okay. Gino. He's yes. wearing a Snoopy I mean, shirt. Yes. He That's doesn't right. hurt you, right? He takes his time, so right? Saying, you know? She's saying I'm a Gino gentle lover. is very, very non threatening. Okay, Daddy. And he, and he makes stupid jokes, and it, we make. I said, of course, <laughs> it's my and job. Daddy knows, and that's his job. Yeah, I had her dress up like Hitler's so, secretary last night. It was amazing. Oh Jesus! Oh, that's right. No, he that's, actually made me dress up as a concentration camp. Victim. Wait a minute! Wait a minute, Mike. Now, how do you? Stripes after what Stacy just nice. said, how do you react to that, Mike? Well, you know what? I listen to every. I listen to Hub for anybody. I do. If you say something, I'll calm so down. So she's saying, don't worry about you. Yeah. You know You're what? a bigger fish to fry. And beat up these bigger fish. Bigger fish yeah. to fry, that's right. Stacy, why didn't you call him yesterday? Did, did the ball gag get in the way? Now, I heard there was a oh, ball gag involved. You couldn't make a call. On Gino's mouth, you mean? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Sometimes oh, daddy feels pretty. It. Can I gang up on Gino a little bit? Odd? I need sure, mercy. Right. Uh, right. Gino had a dick in. Oh, fuck. Go ahead. Gino had a dick where? Yeah. Some, somewhere where, where he shit it out of his ass, really. Mm. That's right. I, I had a banana nut muffin, and the dick came right out. I thought daddy was the creepy one. <laughs> no, uh, I was like, the doctor. Okay, right? let me tell you something, right? I'm, I'm glad this is done with Bisconti because he's been a bully since childhood himself. I, how am I a bully? I, what, a bully? what is this? I was what never is this? a no, bully. Wait, Dan just handed me a note I don't understand. What's that? Dan, what is this? I was told Gino bought Mike dinner last Oh, yeah. Week? Yeah, Gino, we all went out to eat after. Oh, to eat? so Gino last bought night? you dinner. And Daddy paid. Last week. Yeah, we all went out to after the show. Gino. Daddy never took me to get anything to eat. <laughs> and we all had Christ. a lovely Stop meal. I, I paid for both of you. Without a doubt. When you say free meal to Gino and Chris, look out. <laughs> I have nothing to do. So, I no, three hundred dollars last night. No, 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 it was a lot of fun. It was a really good thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was really nice. Gino and I and Mike Gino paid for it with what money? No, he paid for that declined. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that no, was being no, used in other, India, by the way. No, no, but, no, but his other Dude, card, credit card, really his other card worked fun, financially well. Yes. <laughs> and Gino <laughs> tried to pick up the waitress. So anyway. how yeah. are you mad at Gino if he's buying you dinner? Right? Yeah. I just I just could very... I'm, I, I, That's two meals I bought Stacy well, that let's day, not ignore the facts breakfast. Here. I need to know what right. Mike got. What did you order, Mike? Oh, uh... Che- uh, well, for my sake, salad. Salad. Yeah, for my sake, I hope a banana muffin. I ate like a pig. No, it was good, though. The salad was good. 
No, I'm saying they get along well, and then also they start growing crazy on Twitter. Doesn't well, I, don't, I feel like Mike? I'm, it sounds like you're easily riled up on Twitter. I feel yes. like I'm in, I, I get very hot headed sometimes. Well, if Stacy's not mad, why should you I, be? Okay. I feel like I'm in my marriage counseling again. This is upsetting me. I feel like sorry, I'm in a, a polyamorous relationship. No, no, I'm so sorry, Stacy. Uh, right now, your vagina is bringing two worlds. I'm just very it's crumbling. No, two worlds. I'm just very protective, and I'm so sorry. Do you, you know what polyamorous means? No, I don't. Means? <laughs> Mike, you know what polyamorous means? No, of course not. I don't, I don't know. What, I know More than one lover. I think Polly's a parrot. But that's all I know about Polly. Jesus Christ. No, I mean, like, I, you know, I always, I'm very straight up with you, Mike. Of right? I love you. You're my friend. We Absolutely. get along so well. You know, when I'm, like, mad at who I'm mad at, oh, yeah. I tell you. Absolutely. I've never even mentioned this one over here. So, Ooh, oh, and by that whoa, she meant whoa. Gino. Yeah, she pointed at bitch me. Ass. Let me just, uh, hold, let me, let me, let me just translate like that in the, in the hood shit. Fuck out of here, Gino. Nobody yeah. worry about your little dick, Gino. Are we yeah, role right. playing again, did. Stacey? Is, is that, that her shit? Yeah. Is that her shit? That's her shit. Right. That's that's her shit. Well, you know what? Though? I think if, if I love Gino, she, but I'm telling you, no, Gino's my friend. You know my. She just said he don't she believe in him. Gino. Well, she's, she's a great person. Me and Gino I mean, have been friends for like ten years, and he just makes stupid jokes, and I say shut the hell up. With benefits. How many abortions? <laughs> uh, negative zero. Neg- negative zero, 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 zero. I yeah. think. Mike, is there any comic? That you wouldn't mind Stacey dating that you know of? Uh, somebody super filthy rich. That would be yeah, nice. Like who? <laughs> I don't know. Who's that Dean that Edwards? Is he, is he rich enough? Dean Please. Edwards. Oh, old joke. A very old joke for the no, I know Dean Edwards. No, it's <laughs> not only about the money. It's about being respectable and treating the great. Respectful that's about, that's or respectful. Well for anything. <laughs> Well, like, who would you say? Filthy, rich, and respectful. That's a tough combination. Does race matter in this? And does race matter in this equation? Can no, be as, any long race? as long as you're happy. Pitch. So Aziz and Zari, how do you feel about Aziz? He's rich. He's pretty Aziz? rich. Aziz, Aziz. Oh, Aziz. Uh, from Parks and Recreation. Yeah. What You're not feeling it? that? You're not feeling I think Stacey, he's funny. Now, Stacey, race matters with Stacey. No, I just don't like his He's like a short Indian man. What about oh. Rosa <laughs> what How about do you like him? Oh. What's your type? What's what about Rosa type? Parks and Recreation? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't... Uh, I'll date uh, Amy Poehler. Anyway, uh... Um, Are you a lesbian? Do you have lesbian tendencies? Not really. Oh, well, uh, that wasn't that a no. That was not a no. That sounds like she could be talked into with threesome. Like, what about uh, no, Let's, let's let Aaliyah do some First talking all, here. I feel like this is better for Aaliyah. She's I haven't <laughs> been with a woman since I'm 25, but... Wow, there you go. So like, what, 32 years now, right? Yeah. The last time Mike was inside a woman's when he visited the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> 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 I didn't even go to Statue of Liberty. I was terrified of heights. <laughs> Uh, so he's never been a why, of, well, What are you talking about? You're terrified of heights. You're, I used to be like, terrified of heights. So you can't go in the Statue of Liberty? No, I stopped. You're not really outside, though. No, but I was terrified of climbing stairs more than six feet up. up but up. now you're in good shape. You can climb. Yeah, a flight of stairs looks like it scares you a little bit, yeah. Mike. <laughs> no, nothing scares me, Joe. Well, you go up. You live in the attic at home, though. You're upstairs. <laughs> yeah, but I wait, wait, watch. You can do anything now. <laughs> you ring, you ring wait, a bell wait. every hour up there. <laughs> No, no. Ring the bell. No, I'm not fucking hunchback. You know, I got it. Ah, buddy. look at you. You have, to, you have to run a game of me, you fucking clown. You need to get off of this cycle of anger and onto a cycle of, you know, a treadmill. Okay, so. Gino. Nothing. A yeah. cycle of motor. Yeah, whatever, Gino. <laughs> you know, you know what? Good stuff, Gino. Good stuff. Yeah, you know, Hilarious. Use that bit at some fucking hackeroonie place. <laughs> Hackeroonies? I'm playing Hackeroonies in two weeks. Uncle what about Hackeroonies and cheese? That? <laughs> Uncle Chocolateheads and fucking bum fuck. Hackeroonies, who books that? Uncle Chocolatehead. <laughs> Uncle Chocolatehead. <laughs> Uncle Chocolatehead sounds like a racist They get a fucking yeah. pizza and fucking ten bucks. Pizza? You know, fight with the guy for half that money. <laughs> Uncle Chocolateheads and pizza? <laughs> Uncle Chocolatehead. Imagine you can make it. Was it Hacker Uncle Chocolate. Uncle Chocolatehead and bum fuck I'll tell you what. <laughs> bum fuck We found out a lot here. I don't think we got to the bottom of anything. We're going to take a break, and we come back, we're going to feature Aaliyah Janine. When we come back, we are going to interview Aaliyah Janine, who a porn star became a comic, very funny. We'll get into her life and how that happened. Very interesting. Hey, guys, this is James Flippin of RadioMisfits.com and also one of the -the behind-the-scenes guys for the Artie Quitter podcast. Right now, you're listening to the free weekly edition of the Artie Quitter Uncensored podcast on the Radio Misfits Network. If you'd like to hear more, visit artiequitter.com and subscribe to the four-day-a-week podcast. Use coupon code ARTIEFAN, that's A-R-T-I-E-F-A-N, and get your first month free. One, two, three, four! Well, welcome to Poop Culture, but guess what? Jay, do you know what's going on? What's going on, man? Mark, you know what's going on? No, man, what's going on? We're fucking moving to Radio Misfits. Yeah. Radiomisfits.com? When are we moving? We're fucking moving now. Oh, dude, I gotta pack my shit. You should have your shit packed. So what's that all about, anyways? 
Poop Culture is moving off of SoundCloud, and we're moving to a big new network, RadioMisfits.com, and we're moving, so you'll have to resubscribe. How the hell do I do that? Just go to iTunes and search for Poop Culture Radio Misfits. Is there spaces? There are spaces. Oh, okay. It's poop space culture space radio space misfits. Oh, okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that sounds easy. Yeah, you could you could figure that out. So please resubscribe on iTunes. Come and join us on Radio Misfits with Artie Lang, Reverend Bob Levy. It's one of the premier comedy networks. We'll see you there. I'll be there. Hey, welcome back. Final segment. Artie Quitter, Artie Lang Uncensored Podcast, episode 100. My uh, my guest today uh, is a pretty interesting girl. And uh, we're happy to have her here, Aaliyah Janine. Hi. She's a porn star. What's up, Aaliyah? Hi. How you doing? Porn star from Milwaukee. Born in Milwaukee, from Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. Okay. Go pack that. And uh, after porn, she got into stand-up comedy full-time, which is a fascinating life. So let's... Let's go through this. You grow up in Milwaukee. You yeah. go to you go to high school in Milwaukee. Um, well, I went to high school in West Bend, Wisconsin, which is a suburb. Okay, and then you um, you go to college there or no? Uh, I went to a technical school. I have a degree in criminal justice. Wow, science. no kidding. Oh, you always need that. That's fine. <laughs> and then, so what gets you into porn? Um, boredom, money. Uh, I wanted to piss off my ex-boyfriend. Well, you're an attractive girl, attractive girl, nice body. I mean, but that's a big decision. What do you? Yeah. What, well, like, how was, do you make um, that? What kind of background? Give us your family life. What were your parents like? <laughs> uh, religious? You said you were Catholic earlier. Yeah, I was uh, baptized Catholic. My mom um, was more of the religious one. She thought that that was something that, you know, that she had to do because she was raised Catholic. I even went to Catholic school for a couple of years. Right. And stuff like that. Uh, my parents were never married. Um, and I was I lived with my mom for the first seven years of my life, and then I lived with my dad from like seven till about fourteen, and then I moved back in with my mom. Why'd you leave your mom at seven? Um, because my dad had got married, and she had uh, my stepmother had a child, and they were going to have a child. And it was more of a family atmosphere. They thought that'd be better. Well, yeah. it's hard for a mom to give up a kid, though. That's just... oh yeah, no, it wasn't. Um, well, it was kind of my choice. <laughs> at seven? Yeah. Yeah, they're like. She asked me if I wanted to live with her, her dad, and I'm like, oh, well, yeah, I we trust you. That's fine. You're seven. Yeah, <laughs> let's go with him. Yeah, it was actually. It was Do a you really have bad resentment choice. towards your mother for that? Be honest. Uh, a little bit, just because my stepmother I would. was horrible. Person. Well, I mean, yeah, she probably <laughs> she beat she probably the fuck knew out of that. Me. I mean, your yeah. mom sounded like she didn't want to raise a kid. Uh, well, she um, at that point in time, her fiance had passed away, and in the same bed with her, like woke up to yeah. him being dead. So it kind of messed her up. She was young. She was like 24. Oh, he died from. But still, you want uh, drug mean, it, it would it would be a situation where maybe that would make me want my kid more a little bit yeah you would like to think that um no she like what we talked about it now that i'm older and stuff and and i understood and at the time yeah we did think that it was going to be a better um choice but uh no my dad is a uh, i love my dad Dearly. But the stepmom was a problem. The, oh, the stepmom was horrible. So yeah. it's a typical bad stepmom story. Mm-hmm. So yeah. what happened? Why? What, what, what happened with the stepmom? Um, well, she was a raging alcoholic. Yeah. And so, um, and she was very jealous. That's hard. Of me. And yeah. like, because I was daddy's girl. And so um, my dad was a truck driver. And right. so he was gone Monday through Friday. He'd be only And home you had to deal with her. Yeah, and she would um, she would beat the fuck out of me oh, basically oh for God. pretty much everything. She was very like verbally and physically abusive. Yeah, she was horrible. My parents never hit me at all. Like and my then, actual parents. Did your father know she was doing that? Um, well, I told him definitely, yeah. but he didn't really believe me. And then um, <laughs> they didn't believe me until like I was older. Um, when How I, old are you? I'm 36 now. So this is uh, a modern family. This is happening. Oh yeah. You know, in the in the eighties and nineties, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and, no, that uh, was pretty. Well, I listen. That's rough. That is rough. You probably you sound like you love your parents, and yeah, we all do. We don't want to give them shit. I think when you get older, you realize your parents might have made some mistakes, but that's hard. Yeah, raising. I, I, that's why I don't want to have children. No, but you weren't. You know what? They could have. They could have handled it better. Oh well, yeah, really everyone could've. could have handled a lot of things. Yeah, better. I know, but I'm just saying. I know it's hard for you to judge your parents, but... Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I judge them th- all the time. <laughs> That's not a problem. Have you been to therapy at all about it? Um, well, I'm actually in school now for psychology. Oh, no <laughs> so kidding. it's like self-therapy. Right. So uh, 
then you said you go back to your mom at about what 18 17 no no no. i was um well my dad and my stepmother got a divorce when i was like 13 14 and so um i moved back in with my now, mom now what was that like way better because the stepmom was oh around. it was awesome because um at that time i ended up being bigger than her because i'm 5 11 um and so there was one time when she caught me smoking cigarettes. Yeah. And so she, um, and I wasn't even smoking. I was actually just holding it for my girlfriend who oh. like ran inside. But sure you were. Like, no, shittiest. actually, I didn't start smoking until after she made me smoke an entire carton of you Winston. Used carton? A you should have used You should have used that for your porn career. I was holding the cock for my friend. <laughs> I was holding the black cock for my friend. I was just holding it. Then I had but, to but, smoke a whole carton of black cock. Let me ask you this. And their name, his name was Winston. <laughs> <laughs> but let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Did your mother know your stepmom was beating you up? Oh, I told her too. And what did they do? I would, I would go rip you out of the house. Well, I mean, I mean, no uh, one believed me. Uh, this is how World Star video is starting to black. <laughs> no, I, the oh, that bitch touching you? Oh, she touching you? Well, it's crazy because um, I actually I had a babysitter who was a black woman, a very large black woman. How and could she, they do that and, to and you? And she that about to fuck no, out I didn't mind. No, um, she spanked me and my mom freaked out and my mom beat the shit out of so her. Your mom, your mom, it's okay oh, for, so the message is... Finally, yeah. a happy ending wait, to this wait, story. The message is a white woman can hit you, not a black woman. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> See, good, Apparently. This ain't good. No, Sorry. It's, I, I, I don't like where this is going. I mean, my mom dated a black guy for seven years, by the way. Oh, no, 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 so no there is, there's the last nail in the I'm going to be a porn star club. <laughs> that is that is i can't argue with that regular mom kicks you out at seven stepmom beats you up for four years mm -hmm. black woman hits you mom marries a black man. <laughs> here is your porn star diploma <laughs> <laughs> Kinda, yeah. uh, no, I was was, sucking so, so you dealt with a lot of shit that yeah. most young people shouldn't no, yeah. no. And, and my you seem dad... fine, by the way. You seem strong and fine. Yeah. And I respect you for that. Well, you thank see... you. Yeah, <laughs> really. But okay, now let me get to this question. Okay. Try to be honest. Yes. Was resentment, was there a resentment that was created in you that in, in a rebellious way, through all this bullshit, in a rebellious way, you got into porn because because you were acting out against all the shit that your parents put you through. Um, it was more when I became a stripper. That was something that that was what you, yeah. Because I didn't get in, a stripper. I didn't get into porn until I was thirty. So you became a stripper. I was a when? stripper. Um, well, I first tried to dance when I was eighteen, and I went to this like really ghetto club in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where they actually have security, like police security right. guards, in the Some parking lot, the and. Um, and three women that were auditioning, it was like an um, amateur night, three women that were auditioning got arrested for prostitution. Oh, wow. And so I'm like, okay, maybe this isn't for me. But I went and I told oh, my mom, I'm like, I'm, club? Right. Um, it's, Ricky's, it's Ricky's on stage. Uh, Ricky's well, on stage. I've got to stay away from that. Well, listen, wait, 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 let me, there's one piece of the puzzle I haven't answered. The, okay. the black man your mom married. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, kidding, no, all, dated. All dated. kidding aside. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, was he a good guy? Was he yeah, in your no, life? Yeah, no, no, he was, he was a really cool guy. Right. Um, his name is Jasper. He's a blues Jasper. musician. Right. No, he was really so cool. He was, so he was an adult that was good to you. Yeah, no, he right. was really, no, all my, like my mom, um, she's married now. She's been married for almost 16 years to a man named George. Good guy? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's okay, a really good, good guy. Yeah. And so, but you admit that maybe becoming a stripper was a little bit of a oh it was completely I, yeah. I told my mom I'm doing this to piss you off <laughs> that those were my exa she'll even tell you she's like you're fucking nuts and right I'm like, yeah I'm like and but I didn't go back into dancing until I was 20 okay. because that scared the shit out of me so how does that lead to porn um, well I wanted to do feature dancing or burlesque dancing right. where you get to travel around and stuff like that and um, to do that you kind of needed credits so you hit the road you're too skinny to do burlesque dancing shut your mouth I was a lot bigger <laughs> I was um before I left Wisconsin, or when I left Wisconsin, I was 160 pounds, but I quit drinking. Quitter. Heavily. Um, I used to drink a lot of vodka sodas, and I lost like 20, 30 pounds. Right. And I haven't been able to like gain any weight. So, so uh, again, how do you get to porn? What happened? Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> with the dancing, <laughs> there was a girl um, that I danced with at a club, and she's like, um, the score group, which is um, a big company out in Florida. They're like, she's told me that I could do like solo masturbation scenes and you'll get magazine spreads and stuff like that. And they pay really well. And right. so I went they down. Do? Yeah. 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 Mike, you can do solo masturbation. <laughs> <laughs> Any scenes where you fuck a cat? <laughs> what? Uh, now wait a minute. So what, on what on the computer? You mean or what? What do you mean? Just like solo masturbation? Scene? Yeah. Well, it's um. Well, it's just 
because solo masturbation. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, but it's video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's and, a video. And where do they and watch it on the on the computer? Yeah. Well, uh, computer um, videos. They they put a couple in a couple uh, DVDs or whatever. Right. The DVDs were still. Oh, uh, okay. Going so they shoot then. it somewhere. And <laughs> yeah. Now, and, what you're in Florida at this point? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you get to Florida at mm-hmm. some point. Yeah. You move there. You're living there. Yeah. You start doing that. Yeah. Right. Okay. And that is that where your whole porn career happened, or did you go to L.A. or whatever? No, well, yeah, it all started in Florida, like the Hot Girls Wanna documentary. That's pretty much how I started. Every my porn crazy career. thing starts in Florida. Is it Tampa? Yeah. Um, <laughs> holy shit! Yeah, actually, how my guess? <laughs> that's just an educated guess. <laughs> <laughs> my my uncle lived in um, St. Petersburg, and so I lived in. Uh, my family is yeah, in St. Petersburg. You ever the Panhandle? Meet a person named Cotton down there. There's a lot of us down there Mm-mm. hanging out. You will. Okay. Go by <laughs> so what happened? So you do you start doing solo masturbation? Um, so I it's three scenes, um, five hundred dollars each. Right. And they uh, they really wanted me for this movie called Mamazon, which is like a big featured porno film um, with script and everything. Mammy. <laughs> Amazon, mama. How and long do y'all take to learn those scripts? Do you really do you really get off script before you start, or you? Wanna... Oh wait, let's just let's slowly get into this. Right? <laughs> let's slowly get into so, the porn so script. So a movie comes about, you're doing this solo, and yeah. you hear about a film. Um, they really wanted me to do it, so I thought about it for about three weeks. They gave me. Did you want to act, or or this was all just about making money doing porno? Was there ever? Well, it was just a, like it's a part a... of you because you're in showbiz now. Yeah. Was there ever a part of you that wanted to be legitimate as an actress, and or this happened first? Well, no, this this was first. I never really thought about being like everyone when they grew up they're like oh I want to be a movie star or a doctor or whatever it was nothing really more than that right. I want to making say. money yeah basically. and being rebellious <laughs> okay. and stuff like that and so um, I talked to my family I talked to a bunch of my friends before I actually did it and I'm like fuck it I'm going to do this one movie that was the thing I'm like I'm going to do this one like hardcore movie and then right. <laughs> and then that will be it um, they pay me a lot of money for it and I actually really liked it I had a great time how I'm old like, are you at this point I was 30 was this the lead of it no, no, I was, um, it, well, there's the queen, and then there was um, her warriors. I was the wolf warrior. Now, you, wait a minute, so you, how much money is a lot of money, if you don't mind um, It was five grand. Oh, all right, well. <laughs> Hopefully, you know. Artie, you can't it. laugh at her. She's conceived. Right, right. Okay, five, five grand, and you're the what warrior? The wolf warrior? The wolf warrior. What does that entail? Um, I was just one of the warriors that captured, um, that helped capture the, um, Explorers that were trying to now steal our stuff. How long before stone? after you capture them? How long you before you're fucking the explorer? <laughs> um, like five minutes. So it's pretty much like five minutes. So there's five minutes of acting, and, get right <laughs> and then yeah, right into it. This is a feature film. Yeah. It was okay. A, I still didn't find out she's off script or not. Did you learn the actual? Oh script? yeah, no. There is a. There was actually one part because um, we're tribal women in the Amazon who've never been with men before, and so when I whip out his cock and I'm looking at it, I'm supposed to give him a blowjob first. And so I'm licking it, and then I asked him if I should bite it. Oh, my God. Um, which was off script. It's a resounding no. It was off script. My but notes. they loved it. Um, but everyone started laughing, so we had to cut in, and then I had but to But wait do it a again. minute now. So, so now, again, uh, Chris asked a pretty good question mm-hmm. here that. You do you rehearse in porno? Like, do you know it's blowjob? It's 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 like Larry David with Curb Your Enthusiasm. We just give you a way to go, and you go with it. It's kind of yeah. They just give us a. But way you to know, go. it's blowjob first, then yeah. yeah the, okay. Yeah, the positions, the sex positions Titty are always very important. Like, right. we can't really go off script off the sex off stuff too much. So, okay. <laughs> so what's the position lineup? What, what, how does it go? Is it um, well, it's normally um, blowjob, eating a girl out. Mm-hmm. Um, then we'll go into. Um, either cowgirl or reverse cowgirl then you do doggy and then sometimes spoon but because i have big boobs it's always about my she boobs does. bouncing are the boobs real yeah Those are they really are real <laughs> yeah what are you oh. a double d a, an e a 34 f those are f and yeah. it's real yeah. and she's sitting next to cotton so it's hard for them to look that bad. yeah i know <laughs> Is there, um, you know, you has that been a bird? Know. And when did they sprout? How old were you? Oh, God. That's actually one of the creepiest questions people ask me. Um, I actually didn't get my boobs until my early 20s. Like no late kidding. Teens. A lot of girls' boobs so grow mine. until they're 25. So. Yep. Mine did too. Yeah, like I didn't. I Stacey didn't really has a get... big chest. Mike started at thirty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so okay, so that's so. And did that encourage you with the porn, the breasts coming in? No, no, that no. like I didn't even realize I had big boobs until I was a stripper, and everyone told me how big my boobs were. I just thought right like, that they were just tits. So you start with mamas. They are. Thank you. You start with mamas on yeah. the movie. 
And then <laughs> what do you do with that? You like it? The money? Yeah. Good, and I was like, okay. And if I do more movies, I could get paid more money for dancing was my whole thing. So I'm like, I'm going to do a couple more movies. And then I moved to LA. I do remember that from meeting a lot of the, the, the porn stars at the Stern show that you can make a boatload of money dancing if you're a porn star. You yeah. have that credit. Yeah. So you started, did you dance at the dollhouse? And stuff? No, um, my, my feature dancing career actually ended pretty short because I had knee problems from high school. I was a cheerleader, volleyball, I was also you a runner. You need good knees as a porn star. You do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you really do. And, and as a dancer. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I have to fold it in. You should have seen the seriousness in that. T- you need good knees. You do. <laughs> He's making this like a Larry King interview. It's fantastic. <laughs> so you do, update, so you do Amazon. What's next? Right. Everybody Where do you go from down. Amazon? Yeah, let's talk about the business well, of porn. Now let's talk about it. You treat people like, you know, uh, it's real stuff. The only thing you cracked on was when you asked her how much she made with a lot of money with $5,000. Well, the only time. Yeah. I kind of felt bad yeah. well, You go to L.A. When, when, well, well, considering that girls now make eight $900 for one hardcore scene. Yeah, 5, Are you serious? That's yeah. all they make? Yeah. That's it? Well, when some did, girls will make like a 1000 And with a black guy, it's even less. Like twenty. Well, you ruin your money with a black guy. Is that true? Um, With some fans, yeah, some girls actually. Watch anymore? They won't watch you anymore. <gasps> I did IR. I don't give a fuck. I like black oh, guys. Well, so. well, what about uh, you? Said you moved to LA. Yeah. When did that happen? Um, about well, I lived in Florida for about eight months because it was horrible. Yeah, that is bad. <laughs> and so I just went out to LA just to shoot for two weeks, but I ended up really liking it. I had some friends from Wisconsin that lived there, and so I ended up just staying. Were you in the Valley, the Porn Valley, um, Chatsworth, <laughs> Woodland Hills, uh, North Sherman Hollywood. Oaks, North Hollywood? Okay, North Hollywood. Close, Hollywood. Close knowledge. Yeah. You really right by uh, the one hundred and one. Yeah, you really yeah. studied for this interview, or do you really know <laughs> the just, porn just locations? Just, I know. I've been there. Well, Chatsworth, yeah, <laughs> I've, I've been there. there. Oh, but uh, so now you do more movies out there? Yeah. How many you do? Um, I did about a hundred and fifty like scenes and movies. Now with the internet, they're called scenes. Yeah. As well, so probably about like a hundred and fifty, probably a little bit more. Um, some of the scenes didn't make it to movies. Some of them haven't even been released yet. That's how the porn world has changed. It's, it's, yeah. There's no. They used to try to make it like real art. Like yeah. the guy Burt Reynolds played in Boogie Nights. He was proud of himself that he was real director of a real film yeah. with a plot, good acting. Well, yeah, There's none of that anymore. They get right to the sex. And yeah. it's right. Well, that's like the Gonzo style stuff that you see a yeah. lot, like Jules Jordan video. Right. that a lot, like even Naughty America, like they try to do a little bit of plot stuff, but it's all just hardcore. Like it's not like- Get to the sex. The the movie part where like Wicked has feature films or a uh, digital playground. Like and, Right, and hardcore sex is, I mean, these girls start at 18, they got five cocks, one on their ass, one their, I mean, yeah, that's it's crazy. Right? I, could, Are we I don't think that? I, I don't wow. think I could do porn. I don't think I would have been able to do porn at eighteen. Like when I was a dancer, I used to get so pissed off at like girls that were in the club that were escorts or, or hookers or whatever that would pick up clients there because it would mess up the dancers. Mind. Yeah, and so that would really annoy me greatly. And then I got into porn. Did you work with any famous guys or girls? Yeah, um, Nina Hartley. I got to shoot with Nina Hartley. Um, I worked with Derek Pierce. Um, now, what's his cock taste like? <laughs> actually, he was a fun Nina guy. Hartley. Was everybody clean? Was there ever someone who wasn't clean who you, who you actually said, I can't do it? You go up to the director and say, listen, this guy or girl has to scrub down or I'm not doing this. <laughs> no, no. Everyone that I've worked with, a lot of times, too, because of... Full age tests, everything was... You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, all the time. I mean, I still, like, I got gonorrhea once... Right. And, wow. And I got, um, well, I didn't get That's tested like a, for chlamydia, but the guy that I worked with the day before, he went and got tested after I seen, and he's like, I have um, chlamydia, or yeah, chlamydia. And I'm like, oh, so I just went to the Dr. Riggs, is his name. Dr. <laughs> the porn, Riggs. The one the that prescribed your heroin, Artie. <laughs> That's the one I was going to take machete to see. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. He would probably hook you up. Too, so like, which is chlamydia and gonorrhea is like the sprained ankle of the, per, the porn world, I'm guessing. Right? Yeah. That's well, like the sex of still, the world of sex nowadays, it's nothing. Yeah, yeah, how like do they wrap treat it up that? Keep going. Um, well, gonorrhea is good give, news. They yeah. give you a Z pack, which is like a. Right. Like for a sore throat. Yeah. Kills two birds in one Oh, God. And then like medication and then. You go back in five days, get for retested. gonorrhea or chlamydia, um, both of them. Oh. You he, be- like Dr. Rig loves the Z packs. Like he'll just he'll give you one. He's probably got to deal with the company. <laughs> so that's all you do to get rid of it. You get a Z pack, a, a shot, and well, no, he actually he gives you drugs. What too, about? Do, have you ever had children? Your kids? Not that I know of. No. Okay. <laughs> Did you ever have to deal with that? Morning like after pill, did. abortion. A more, not not um, for not for filming. No, I had um, I had an IUD. Okay, for oh, during filming, so you never use rubbers during uh, filming. No, I, I've used some condoms in some scenes. Yeah, 
and, for the uh, IUD, did they ever complain about hitting it? My wife has IUD, so I don't yeah, know. a little bit. And it also like Ow. it prevented me from squirting, which was weird. Like, well, I they want you to squirt, right? Well, if you can, yeah. Yeah. It Look, if you can, honey. <laughs> if you can do you it, from yeah. squirting. Look, honey, yeah, you yeah, can squirt. Go right ahead. Not for not, hey, really, really explore the space. Yeah. <laughs> we need, we need, to, we need to figure out what's going on here, because so the IUD stops you from squirting. Yeah, I couldn't squirt anymore once I got it in. Okay. Because well, something with the pressure, or something, I don't know. But like I was afraid, like aggressive. I was afraid that I was going to pop it out. Like, did they, did uh, your uh, superiors ask you to use something else because they want the squirting? No. no, I just wouldn't do squirting scenes. <laughs> so how many, uh, how many films did you do? How have you done? Well, like 150. Oh wow, Jesus! You like Spencer Tracy? <laughs> and uh, and how many years did it take you to do 150 films? Four years. Wow. That's a lot of films. That's a lot of work. It actually it averages out. Someone actually did the average for me. It's like three, four scenes a month. Now, do you have a once boyfriend? a week? Yeah. Do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Now, how is he with the whole thing? Um, well, I've been with him almost four years now. Uh, he was he's fine with it. When did you stop doing porn? Uh, in 2012. Wow. So, and he knows your whole background, and he's fine with it. That's, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Is it serious to where you're going to get married? I don't believe in marriage, really, so I hope not. Right, okay. Well, does he? I mean, maybe he probably... Sounds like a dream situation for him. Um, I don't know. We never really talked about it. What does he do? Um, he's actually... He works in Wall Street. Okay. Wow. And you live in New York now? Yeah. Okay, so now, when do you want to become a comedian? How does that happen? Um, well, it was 2010, um, pretty much right when I first moved to L.A. I had right. hired a publicist, a different one, than I have now. And uh, she really wanted me to get into some comedy stuff, like sketches. And Why? Because apparently she thought I was funny. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes. How did she know that? <laughs> Just from hanging with you at a party? Or from that whatever? cock line in uh, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, People did you think, your, People did you think your acting was funny? And then the well, she porn just, uh, movies? Or? Just my personality okay. overall. She's like, oh, you'd be great. So she suggests stuff. take some improv classes? And oh, no, no, no. She's just, she hooked me up with, um, he's a comedian, Sam Tripoli. And uh, he has a show, The Naughty Show, which right. incorporates porn stars. And so I did a couple of skits. Where? And at stuff a club? Like yeah, um, we did it. Uh, there's the LA Improv and then also at the Comedy Store. Okay. He has them. Um, he hasn't hosted one in a while, though, I don't think. Um, but I started doing some of that. And I remember <laughs> the first time he asked me to go on stage, I'm like, oh, I, like, I got a set. I had one of my friends help me write out a, a set who's a comic. And... And he's like, no, he's like, you're not doing it. Why? Because he didn't think it was funny. Well, no, he just he didn't think I wanted to do comedy. Like he definitely didn't think I would be ready to do it. Oh, and, and stuff so you like wrote that. An act out. You wrote jokes out and you try. Yeah, material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I totally thought that I was going to do it. And then um, then he wanted me for something else. I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, but then later on, like once I realized that porn was kind of fizzling out for me and like with my knee and I couldn't dance anymore, I'm like, I'm going to try to do this. I was doing makeup too at the time. I was a makeup right. artist, so. I came out here to New York. I'm like, I'm going to try Broadway. I'm going to do comedy, makeup. And now it's just pretty much comedy. <laughs> so you came here and your boyfriend comes out with you. He's oh, he lives, he's lived he lives out a Wall here. Street guy. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how do you get into the scene in New York? It's tough. Um, it actually it wasn't really that hard for me. Well, what are you doing? Um, well, I had one of my fans, actually, <laughs> who's a comic as well, Ryan Hernandez. Uh, he hooked me up God, with so many comedians. Yeah, with uh, Big J Okerson. Oh, Big J. Sure. Um, so yeah. I went on Legions of Skanks for yes. that podcast, um, and then that like they just kind of walked me through it, like hooked me up with spots at the stand and, right. and stuff like that. And is there tape of you we could find anywhere doing? Yeah, there, there's um, a tape on YouTube. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and how do we find that? Um, it's uh, Leah Janine's comedy. Leah Janine's comedy. Well, how, yeah. how long of a set are you doing? Uh, it's. I think it's like eight, nine minutes. And do you use that to get work? Is that like your reel or something? Or are you just... Um, like well, it's the only one that I have right now. And because people, they're like, oh, let me see your comedy. But um, yeah, it's gotten me a couple spots. Do you do the road? Um, I'm going to do the Milwaukee Comedy Festival. Oh, um, I have a podcast called The Hormones um, that I just started. So I'll be doing that and some stand up there. Um, I performed in Chicago. I've done some in L.A., um, I'm going to be doing some in Connecticut as well. Right. So, I mean, you're making a living at comedy right now? A little bit, yeah. I host a bunch of shows, too. Like, I produce and host shows. Um, Cutthroat Comedy, which is at the Cutting Room, which is, like, an every other month kind of thing right. whenever they can fit us in. Um, I'm doing a show called Hardcore Comedy Show, which involves people who have worked in the adult or sex industry. 
that are comics now, and that's actually um, July There's a lot 22nd. Of them. There's a yeah, lot. Yeah, I, I didn't have no know. idea. How many? Uh, so, um, how many clubs, if any, are you a regular at? Um, I perform at the stand semi regularly. You get regular spots there. They'll um, they'll hook me up. Um, every once in a while, I'm going to be hosting a new show at their other club, um, the Standing Room in Long Island City. Okay, yeah, they have a new the room old room. Laughing yeah. Devil. Yeah, 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 yeah. they're remodeled mm-hmm. and everything. It looks really nice. Oh, that's cool. So I mean, yeah, and I do like a bunch of like because there's so many free bar shows and stuff like that. I do a ton of those. Like Chris has actually been on my cutthroat comedy. Oh, so yeah, you know, Chris. Yeah, I did yeah. the cutthroat comedy. Do you know? Uh, so. Do you have any other job where you need to make a living, or you just, no? No, I actually um, I saved up a bunch of money, and since my boyfriend works in Wall Street, he helped me invest oh, it really good. well. God so bless basically, you. I, you guys live together? No, no. Mm. Uh, so you pay to rent doing comedy? Kind of, yeah. Well, you saved up money. Yeah, stuff, like right? it. okay. Would anything get you to go back to porn? Um, I told my fans that I would go back to porn if they did a Popeye parody or an absolutely fabulous parody. Do you want to be olive oil? Yeah. That's a layup. Well, would they do that? <laughs> would Probably. they do that? I don't know. Anybody have the forearms for that in the business? <laughs> <laughs> Get me back in there. That's great. <laughs> the forearms. <laughs> do you mind if we listen to your YouTube thing? No, go ahead. Okay, look it up, Dan. Is that hard to find? Um, it shouldn't be. No, it's on YouTube. I don't know how to work with his computer. Though. Where's he? He's got it locked. He went to uh, do his meter. All right, let's take a break. We'll find it. We'll come back. We'll play it and talk more, okay? Okay, that sounds okay. good. Yeah, we'll just play a few minutes of it. Where's this at, Aaliyah? This is at um, Greenwich Common Club. Oh, Greenwich. Greenwich. Okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. Have you talked to the artist since he came back out? Since he's been outside a lot? No, I haven't seen him. Yeah, he's been out the last few days. If you go to probably by the cellar, he'll probably be hanging out. I want to go see I want to go say hi to him. He's having a cookout uh, Monday. Who's having a cookout? I like food. Artie Fuqua. Uh, over here. You have to stand over here. Oh, you can hear it because I don't like listening to myself. <laughs> well, you know, we'll, we'll just play a minute. I'm, no, I'm the okay. same no, way. Okay. You know. <laughs> Like, I don't even like watching my own porn. It creeps me out. Uh, me neither. <laughs> All right, we're back. Uh, we're back, and we're here with uh, Aaliyah Janine. And uh, Aaliyah's a porn star, became a comic. Really ballsy move. She's had a, a life a little bit tough, and she's a strong person. I have a lot of respect for her, and she's uh, doing well. Here's a little bit of Aaliyah at the Greenwich Comedy Club doing some stand up. Um, God, I'm so excited to bring her up. She's a former adult film star, and she's a super funny comic. You see her all over the city and at all the major clubs. Guys, give it up for Alia Janine! Got your name right. Oh, they always have to. I said it right. I could no, you said it right. Hello, everyone. <laughs> give it up for Mike and, and Jack for this awesome show. Aaliyah Janine, and um, I do happen to be a former porn star. Woo, woo, woo. What comes, Dave? Are you new? <laughs> <laughs> you guys look a little confused. This is what we look like when we're not covered in cum. <laughs> <laughs> no, crazy. We kind of look like weird people. <laughs> Although I do realize that, that I don't look like your typical porn star, like a Lisa Ann or like a Jenna Jameson. Or maybe a less cracked out Jenna James. Or a little these days. <laughs> I look more like one of those teachers that would sexually assault one of her students. Tell me about your sex offender vibe. I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, I would never do that, obviously, because that's fucking disgusting. Teaching? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not for that. I mean, I played a teacher in many, many pornos. But that was fake teaching, so it totally doesn't count. <laughs> so um, I've actually I've been retired from porn for um, almost two years now, and um, it's been interesting because I still have to tell people kind of like a registered sex offender. Has to tell me a little. I mean, considering when you Google me, but please don't do that now. <laughs> that would be really awkward. And face would be glowing. Everyone would know. <laughs> <laughs> but when you do, because some of you will, you will find pictures where you can literally see inside of me. <laughs> so it's not like it's something I can actually hide. 
<laughs> not that I would really want to anyways, I'm not ashamed or embarrassed by my foreign career at all. Um, I had a very good experience in porn, it was a lot of fun. Um, for me, see, I'm a very adventurous person, a little woo, but at the same time, I'm also a little weird and skittish. Like, I know a lot of people have different thoughts and opinions about why or how someone gets into porn, and a lot of it has to do with how someone was raised, their childhood, and stuff like that. You see, for me, it's like my parents fucked me up just enough to make me want to do some pretty outrageous things, like porn, but not really enough to have a memorable career. <laughs> <laughs> they basically fucked up fucking me up. Fucked up fucking me up, that's, that's great. Like, well, that's so uh, good stuff. So good like jokes. You're right, you write you write all your own jokes. Yeah. Right. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Good job. And uh, so, is it mostly all about being a porn star? Um. Well, yeah. I guess like the first like solid five and eight minutes that I have is is all about like my porn career and stuff. But I have a ton of other like I've written jokes for a while. Um, How long can you do? What what what? Which, um, long as you've done on stage? Well, I'm doing actually I'm doing 20 minutes on the 11th at the QED at um, 11 p.m., which is in Queens. So that will be exciting because I'll get to do some of like my dating jokes. I have a bunch Good. of just like regular family jokes and stuff too. But I think until people actually really get to know me, I kind of oh, do sure. the porn now, stuff. Listen, it's a process. Like yeah. anything else, I give you a lot of credit. A lot of credit, you know, uh, and um, best of luck. Well, thank you. Know, you. Uh, <laughs> consider the show a place to come and uh, certainly... Uh, Plug stuff, or you got anything to talk about? You know, well, let you. us oh, know. Oh, plug stuff. What do you mean by that? Well, don't just yeah, bad <laughs> well, a good person. She can plug stuff. See, a really great comic will point out that easy joke. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, you guys have any? Gina, you want to ask her anything? Uh, no. That's, no. Uh, that's no. <laughs> yeah, right on top of his job. Drinking. <laughs> Chris, you said you had a couple of questions. I think you covered everything I wanted to know. Oh, really? Yeah, it wasn't that. She, I, I, me and Leah talk all the time. Yeah, we hang out. I have Stacey questions. has a fellow female comic. What about you? <laughs> and we're I also born the same day, too. Like, yeah. I, I worked in fetish when I was younger. Okay. Like, a little bit. Like, did you ever, like, not, obviously, it's a lot of acting because you're not always aroused. Mm -hmm. Was that a problem for you? Um... No, not necessarily. Like there are some days where it's like, oh fuck, I have to go to work today, like any right. other job. But no, for the most part, like I really enjoyed it, and I got to work with a lot of the same people just because I was saying this before, because of my height and stuff. So I ended up working with a lot of the same dudes just because a lot of other guys were too short. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, There's okay. a couple of scenes where guys are actually standing on like apple boxes or crates, like during doggy <laughs> style, because they can't reach. That right? happens a lot with uh, Tom Cruise. <laughs> He's guys, very will, tiny. guys will be fucking him, and they need to. <laughs> no, I work with Tom Cruise. I did yeah. a couple of scenes in Jerry Maguire, and mm -hmm. he there's a, a, it's like Kelly Preston was too tall for him. Yeah, well, yeah, he has like, so uh, he wears like things in his he shoes. He does. Yeah, he's, he's shorter. I mean, obviously one of the biggest movie stars ever, but he's a short guy. Yeah. Hey, Mike, you're not getting off the hook. I wanted you to ask. I want you to ask this porn star comedian a question. Okay. Come on, Mike. Uh, I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> say shit out the shit out uh, heroin for. I don't. Uh, <laughs> look at how nervous he is. Don't be nervous. nervous I'm Mike? totally dressed. Yeah, Mike, look at how it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're not no, happy about I, that. I think Ali. you're very cool. I, I like listening to what you were talking about. I, I you know, uh, I thought it was cool. I listened about you know different things. Um, look at how nervous you are. <laughs> He's blushing. I've never seen how ready Mike. gets. Mike, have you ever seen Ali and Janine before? Uh, no, in your no, own no. spare time. What's that? No. Uh, I, I, um, when you leave here, are you going to Google <laughs> Aaliyah Janine? When you you, leave I, Mike, you're pulling at your shirt. <laughs> I think he's Stacey's like getting. Blushing. He's he, so cute. He is. No, nah, not cute enough to bang. <laughs> I think Stacey's getting a little jealous. I think that's what I'm Stace, seeing here. Stacey, you, Stace, are you jealous? Uh, Stacey's jealous. I think you have, you, have, you have a question? No, I don't know what to say. Mike, Mike, okay, like imagine that Aaliyah is snuggles and then say. <laughs> Hi, Aaliyah. Hi, Aaliyah. <laughs> No, no, you no, no. no. That snuggles, is, yeah, snuggles, is, uh, snuggles is a special person to me. It's, it's a, cat, a cat, Mike. Fuck well, face. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, no, no Leah, Leah, cat. Leah, were you insanely unattracted and ashamed of Mike as a man after hearing the snuggles? <laughs> Absolutely not. Did that your was puss, adorable. Did your puss dry up as much as mine? You thought, <laughs> it was, you thought it was adorable. Let's hear it one more time. Let's get a let's. Sleepy just time. rethink it. Sheepy sheepies. I actually say sheepy sheepies. You're a woman. You're a woman. That's oh, that she has it. Uh, hey, let her hear one of the old ones. Actually, she hasn't heard an old one. This is one of the first ones. Oh, there's uh, more. Of these? Yeah, he's yeah. plenty of messages to the cat. 
Hi, Snuggles. Is he calling the industry? Hi, buddy. How are you? Hope you're doing good, Snuggles. I love you, buddy. That is, that cat is gold. Oh. I love him. I'm so glad you're feeling better, Snuggles. I'm so glad you're yourself again. Mommy told you you're doing really good. You're a big boy. That's right. You're a big boy and a good boy. I'm going to see you Thursday, Snuggles. Okay? Because I'm coming to visit Mommy. And you know what? I'm going to bring you a toy. Because you got better. And you're a good boy. You're a big good boy. You're a good boy, Snuggles. Night, night, buddy. See you Thursday. Bye, Snuggles. Love you. All right, now as a woman, as a sexual woman, <laughs> what is more of a turn off? That, you see Dan right there, our producer? <laughs> this is him talking to dogs. Okay. Get ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle up. Oh. Oh. Oh, God, oh, my God. Look who it is. Look who it is. Look who it is. That's the other one. That's the last oh, one. That's rude. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, wait, wait, wait so, so play the oh yeah and the, a couple of the drops. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look who it is. Oh, 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 oh. Look who it is. In porn, has any man ever made that noise? <laughs> No. All right, so what, what's creepier? What's more of a turn off? That or snuggles? Uh, um, well, I'm a dog person. So, so what is that? So does well, because turn... I talk just like that to yeah, my but you're, a woman. <laughs> you're a woman. It doesn't matter. You can... I'm just a charmer. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, let's say if a man, he has both boobs in hand, he goes, oh, look at this. Oh, that happens all the time. I can I'm see sure. that. Oh, my God. Like, I, well, listen, literally, with, they with just boobs. turn. They're just like, oh. How could you know? oh. <laughs> yeah, no, the guys sound exactly like they, 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 oh, oh. they put their face between your boobs and they make this noise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, Almost look every time. That's rude. Look who it is. Look who it is. All right. Well, uh, guys, how about a hand for the 100th episode of this? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Thank you all. For uh, 100 great episodes. Flip and Filato, I love you dearly. Cotton, wonderful job. Gino Bisconti, uh, of course, Pachetti and Pressman, you are, guys are awesome. Thank you. And we'll let you know about next week what we're doing show wise. Everybody's away. It's the 4th of July. And uh, Aaliyah Janine, thanks so much. Very interesting stuff. Come back again. Yeah, thank you. Anything me. you want to talk about? or uh, um, Just the show that I have on the 22nd at um, Headquarters Strip Club. It's the Hardcore Comedy I know, Hardcore, yeah. And, you got any, uh, what's your website? Uh, AliyahJanine.com. You can find me on Twitter at the Aaliyah Janine. Okay, that's great. Just like it sounds, A L I A J A N I N E. I don't, I don't, I don't want you answering Gino's questions. I feel like Gino. <laughs> I just answered his. I've been Googling. staring at her tits every fucking time. Yeah. She just I've leans forward. I'm like, yeah. oh my god. I've been spotting you looking at her. How tits, could you Gino? not? She's look a good at that. person. But you're looking at you know what I'm saying? Chris's tits. I, 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 I'm gonna be honest with you. I've met her so many times at this point. I can look at her face. It took me about five meetings. It yeah, did take you a while. You've met her before? Yeah, they were buddies. They were my What's that? I'm getting, yeah, spot, I'm getting spots all over the place, Gino. So I yeah, work I've, with a I've lot been of people. spotting her the whole time. Did they stand Gino, her eyes are up here. Uh, <laughs> that's nice to know. I'll give a fuck sometime. All right. Because I lose this erection. But Guys, oh subscribers, I love you all. Happy 4th of July. Take care, brush your hands. The Artie Lang Uncensored Podcast at artiequitter.com. 100th fucking episode today. Ooh. Yeah. yeah.